everybody. Welcome to uh, thir- Thursday. Um, I don't even, you know, woo. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly, I don't know where to start today. And, uh, oh, believe me. Oh, believe me. I've thought about it. Uh, 700 ways. So pardon my voice. I'm a little, uh, tired. I slept in. Oh my God. I just, you know, I don't even know if you can do enough prep for a show like this today. And it's Thursday, so I wanted this to be our normal R-Tard Thursday. Wouldn't it be fun today to just focus on Aerie, Jane, and Ray? (laughs) I was having a little back and forth with Aerie Jane before the show, and she's had enough! (laughs) She has had enough. Oh, my God. And why wouldn't she have had enough? You know, how much time, how much can you let Ray lie about you? Over and over and over and over and over. Apparently Ray's just like lying out his fucking asshole. And then again, in typical Ray fashion, you know, he has Rob Saul on to know absolutely nothing about what's going on and add no commentary other than complete Misinformation, complete obfuscation. That's Ray's whole gimmick. I don't think they're buying views, dude. I, I, I don't think they're buying views. Based on what, Ray? I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with it. Great, great stuff. Why don't you get Why don't you get the guest on to not talk about it? And and again, Ray, I, I hate to tell you, but I'm going to deliver some findings here today. Uh, Chris Abels is probably buying views. And I have to say probably for legal reasons because I do have no definitive proof. Chris Abels is 99.959. Buying views. Sorry. Sorry. You know, I, it, what amazes me is these guys would rather admit publicly that they do cocaine on the reg than buy views. <laughs> They'd rather tweet about buying cocaine than admit they buy views. That's where we are with like a point of pride in life. So, um, you know. I don't even, like, I don't even know, man. He admitted it's for marketing. Yeah, he's full of shit. Did you hear him? Did you hear him stumble and bumble his way through that explanation? Uh, It's marketing, man. Just Google it. Do how to do YouTube marketing. And that's what it is, man. It's like, why didn't you do that then? Why'd you just pay a guy to do it? If if anybody can Google how to do YouTube marketing, then what the fuck is Steven Springer up to? Nah, man, like Hootsuite. Yeah, man. I, I'm sorry, Chris Abels. You're buying views, man. Like, what the fuck are we even talking about? <laughs> you know, and, and uh, fuck. I don't even know where to get into it. I don't even know where to get into it. Chris Abels is a bad view buyer for the view buyer network. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's crazy is just that they were... Look, I don't even... Again, I don't know how to get into this today, but... I, I don't I don't even know, man. I don't I really don't I don't have a fucking clue what we're doing. Uh I guess we have I'm gonna I'm gonna start with all the accusations, the views, what I think is going on, and then uh and then and then I gotta get into the personal stuff. But hit the like button. I don't know who we should get to do the likes today. I don't even know. I don't know. Could everybody just be in charge of likes today? Could I do that? Could everyone help? 
I, I don't know, man. I just like, I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> like it, don't like it. Um, I don't know. If everybody could help today, if everybody could just take it upon themselves, hit the like button, and then get one other person to hit the like button. You know. And everybody who's going, what's the ROI on buying views? Is there any upside to buying views? Let's make this clear. No, no, at least not at this level. It's all perception. It's all about fooling people. And you know, again, I, I, I want to say this up top. I, I, I don't know. I don't think Shuli's fucking retarded and I don't, um, you know, maybe shame on me. Um, I don't, I'm going to say that here's just what I think is going on. I don't think Rob Saul is a liar. I don't necessarily think he's been lying about anything he's saying. Just from my observation, A, why would he B, this is not a guy who's like trying to be an alpha guy. I think he's butt hurt. I think this was, um, him lashing out kind of revenge, kind of jealousy, kind of. Maybe this will get Kevin to like me. You know, Bob posted some tweets or somebody posted some tweets of Rob Saul shitting all over Kevin when the Bob and Kevin fallout happened, calling Kevin all these names. And, you know, why wouldn't they? Again, these guys are all fucking savages. They all they all zero to 100 on each other so fucking quick that it's disgusting to me. And it does nothing but want to push me away from whatever the fuck this is. So look, these tweets are down now. Of course, everyone has them. So it doesn't even fucking matter. Uh, but yesterday, Rob Saul goes, goes on his Twitter and posts, um, a tweet here saying, well, cause somebody said, I believe, uh, I believe you. I believe you. I can tell there's dodging certain questions. I just wish you had some receipts. And then Rob saw, I guess, dug through his, his phone and found, um, conversations with Bob from about a year, year and a half ago. I decided to do a deep dive. My text with Bob, I, I'm just a junkie, but I also have texts asking, uh, Bob asking to find him drugs. Um, if they want to keep attacking my characters, if anybody's shocked to find out Bob Levy has done drugs and these are the texts. Um, so it's this guy Nasir and I guess Rob saw texted. Is this the guy you used to push up views? And Bob Levy says, yes. Okay. He just randomly hit me up about Saul show. Wasn't sure if I was being spammed. And then, uh, in April of last year, he goes, Hey, I just got this text from Marshall Bopri. I don't know if that's a comic or a booker or whatever, but the text somebody sent to Rob Saul is I just remembered a comedy show in AC. A fan said they think Levy land buys viewers because the subs and views seems very off. I can't recall the details. Of course, I wouldn't want to say anything publicly. And I just said, I didn't know anything about it. And Bob answers allegedly say, you don't know what they're talking about. Ha 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 ha. So look, I, you know, what is, is, and what did, did, and what be, be. So Bob Levy fires back with, <laughs> I guess this, um, find me drugs. You sold them to me in your home with a minor in it at the time. I'm sure certain people would love that info. I was shocked and embarrassed when, when she walked downstairs. So I guess. He's saying Rob saw sold him drugs, um, you know, in his house while his daughter was home. And and look, who cares? You know, like, I, again, this is so dumb. This is what every, everybody does. Who's a fucking liar and a loser. Sorry, Bob. Not, not, you know, I mean, what's, what's the fucking problem? You'd rather say that you bought drugs in his house than you bought viewers. What are we doing? What are we doing? Just come out. Come out and go, I bought viewers. My show used to not do well. I used to think it, make it made a difference. I'm Bob Levy. I don't really know how YouTube works or the algorithm. Because guess what, Bob? I don't either. 
You know, that's not, why is that embarrassing? I don't know what the fuck we're doing. Some guy told me that's how you fucking get big. You buy viewers, you prime the pump, you like just Jesus. Cause that is what happened. Is it not? Is it not? Fuck. And by the way, this guy was ripping you all off. I guess he was buying these viewers for five bucks. Everybody's telling me and they, and charging you guys 50 cause you're dumb and you don't know what it is. You don't know how it works. So like, I mean, what the fuck are we doing, Bob? You know? Like, fuck. Chris Abels is dumb. <laughs> so, yeah, there is no benefit to buying uh, views unless you're dumb. Unless you're dumb and you got taken. And I think Bob and Chris Abels didn't really understand YouTube or the algorithm. And, and they got suckered into this buying views thing. And if you go over to the Shuli Network, too, the whole network is sus. And last... Le not the whole network, but the whole, that channel is weird. The miserable men show numbers are weird. The, um, the, the replayables numbers are weird as fuck. Replayables has no traction anywhere. And then it comes to the Shuli network. And, you know, last night was a perfect example. And I, I said the same thing with fatty melt when he's, when he started buying us views and then taking them away so that we couldn't hit 10,000. That only works if you don't have real fans. That only works. You can only keep me from hitting 10,000 subscribers if I don't organically get 10,000 subscribers. You can only take away subscribers that you bought me. So the minute I get 10,000 that aren't you, you can't take those away. And the same goes for views and live viewers. So let's say if you had, let's say, you know, right now we have over 300 live viewers. If those people are real, if those aren't bought and you decide you're going to buy me 500 extra. So now I have 800 and then you're going to take them away to hurt me and make it look like my show's failing. You can only take away the 500 you bought. You can't take away these 300 that are real people. You can't make me go down to 10. You know what I'm saying? No one can like spend money and make my live viewer count drop to 10. Unless you like reached out to every real person, like I'll give you a hundred dollars to leave his chat. So, so as far as faking a, a minimum number, you, you really can't. And we see last night on replayables all of a sudden for the first time ever, 60 fucking viewers for your whole show, Chris Abels. This is the first show I think that you didn't go buy viewers for. Cause you were under the microscope and you, and you would be busted. So, so last night, your big popular show that everybody was bragging had 900 viewers a couple months ago, had 60 fucking people watching it. And while you pounded your chest and said, count these super chats, bitch, if they're all fake, it's like eight people donating to your whole thing. I think I counted. You guys did make like 500 bucks last night, but I, I hate to tell you 380 of it was from Dave Dallafor. So let's not act like there's a sea of supporters out there donating to you in your chat. It's like eight people total. Brian K, Dave Dallafor, Reels, Stacy Allen. It's eight people, bro. It's eight people. You know, it, it, it's literally like Dave Ch David Chandler giving you 300 bucks and you going, I made 300 bucks in Super Chats today. Try to tell me I don't have an audience. It's like, well, you have an audience of one. <laughs> so last night for a fucking hour, Replayables had 60 to 70 viewers. Everyone watched it. Everyone watched it. And, and you know, everyone speculated, oh, somebody's going to buy them tons of viewers. So you won't be able to tell what's real and what's not. Well, guess what? They didn't right away. And we did get to see what's real. And it was 60 for an hour. For an hour, it was 60 to 70 for an hour. And again, no one can spend money and make you have only 60 viewers if you really have 300. No one can bring that number down. And when you go look at that show today, it's 300. It's 60-something it's, uh, likes on the, on the post. 
And if you go back and look at old replayables and old miserable men that got only 800 views, 900 views, 500 views, they have about 60 thumbs up. So what that leads me to believe is your real audience is under 100. Your real audience always has been under 100. Your likes correspond with that. It does. If you get 900 views total on a video, 60, 70, 80 likes. And if you get 3,000 views on a video, 60, 70, 80 likes. Four comments. Two of them are you. Hey, man, great show. Thanks, man. So they ain't real, these 900. Sorry. Sorry. They're not real. Chris Abels is lying. And you know what? This Owen guy comes out the other day and says, says, um, you know, I used to work with them. We know Chris Abels was by Bobby Fran. Bobby Fran, Bobby Nick, and I used to all laugh at Chris Abels for buying views. And now Bobby Fran is on that show putting up a unified front, a unified defense. Like, nah, man, we don't buy views, man. It's like you did. You used to make fun of Chris Abels for buying views, and now you don't, allegedly. Now you're in on it. Now that your show's getting views bought. Like, like I'm sorry, but you guys are defensive as fuck. It's fake as fuck. Everyone knows what's going on. And this is not an indictment of Shuley. Sh look, you, there's no proof Shuley knows what's going on with this. I, here's my fucking findings. Here's what I think is going on. I think Chris Abels is buying fucking views. I think Bob used to buy views for shows when they weren't on the network. Maybe even after they were on the network. I'm sure Bob's embarrassed by it. I don't care. Like, it's not even. A th it's What's insane to me is that you'd rather admit you, you buy cocaine than views. That's It's fucking nuts. What are we doing? Again, nobody even cares if Bob Lee was like, fuck you. Yeah, I used to buy views. I'm dead already, motherfucker. Try to, like, you know what I mean? Just spin it in your Bob way. <laughs> Kevin Brennan is so happy right now. I mean, what is, is, man? What is, is? So, I, I, no one cares about the views anymore. No one cares about the views anymore. This is all about lying, covering up. And the continuation of, of just insane bullshit and cope. <laughs> and you can sit in the chat room all you fucking want and go, wow, Pat, Patrick's still shilling for Shuley. I'm sorry. What is, is there's no proof Shuley knew anything about this. Now, look, it is a testament to Shuley's intelligence or, or I don't know. He had his head buried in the sand or whatever. If you don't know what's going on with these views on your network, you're asleep. You are asleep. Go, go over and look and just sleuth around here on replayables. I mean, I mean, last night you go in here, and I'm serious. Watch it. Oh, yeah. Drink up, drink up. Red Bobbly, we quotes already jumping in, coming in hot, throwing out the five gifted memberships. We Watch this. Got started, BF. Uh, back. And I tell you, I've been a hell of a week. Have you heard so? Okay. And monitor. Stay night. I'll be up. Here's some of the. It's Dave. Dave Dalifor, 200 bucks within 20 minutes. It's all Dave Dalifor. <laughs> Why is the chat not playing? <laughs> Dave Dalifor, Carissa. Ready? Scott Fitzpatrick, we see you. Kenneth Pogue just getting back from his trip, man. We just went out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, 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 Dave Daffler. Dave Daffler again. Look at that. Dave Daffler, deal. Terry Knee, Hot Body 1330. Ready? Uh, hot body 13 in watch these super chats brian k dave daffler hot body stacy allen watch it dave daffler with 20 dave daffler 20 memberships watch it you tell me reels f rob saul and then guess who i bet Let's see. Uh, Dave Daffler yeah. again. Hundreds of dollars from Dave Daffler. It's eight guys. It's eight fucking guys. So enough pounding your chest about count these super chats, bitch. We are. It's eight. No matter how many times they do it, it's eight. It's eight guys. It's nine guys. Every fucking donation. Okay? So enough. You know, this is like steel toe. Look at this. Dave Daffler, Dave Daffler, Terry Knee, Reels, Dave Daffler, Dave Daffler. 
Here, here's a new one. Sue. Let's see. Oh, look, Dave Daffler, Terry Nee. It's eight guys. Carissa. Replayables just did their own thing. <laughs> just, just super chatted themselves. <laughs> oh, look, Dave Daffler. You know what I mean? So, okay. So, okay. Whatever. But you had, you had 60 fucking viewers for an hour. That's your audience. That's your audience. No one can bring your viewership down. No one. No one. So knock it off with this hundreds of people watch where this big show try to deny it. And then an hour into your show, somebody bought you views and they went up to 1,200 and they started going, oh, man. Oh, man. Somebody's fucking with us, man. Oh, man. <laughs> so you go into an hour and three minutes and it starts going like this. So much money because I got to pay it back. Oh, wow. Look, Dave Daffler again, an hour in. We're still Dave Daffling our way to success. Ladies and gentlemen, all the real. This is why I don't I don't want uh, Chandler over here doing this to my show. You know what? I didn't pay for that. Did you <laughs> watch this? Watch. I didn't pay for that. Did you? We appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. All the real people. That, oh, shit, BF. We're at 207 people in the chat. You know what? I didn't pay for that. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it funny, Bobby Fran? Is it funny? Because your friend Owen said you guys used to laugh at Chris Abels for buying views. And now you're on the show where you buy views and cover it up? Okay. <laughs> no, bro. I'm trying to get paid up in this bitch, man. What's up, y'all? Thanks for being yeah, here you tonight, know you know? Because we yeah, don't get paid by views. We get paid by the super chats. See, we don't get paid by views. We get paid by the super chats. Do you guys know that? Hello? I'm sorry. You're fucking dumb. You guys are buying views. You're buying views. <laughs> Liars. And look, I, I, I'm all for saying whatever the fuck is. I'm all for saying whatever the fuck is. So, but but you guys can get butt hurt all you want. There's nothing tying anybody at the Shuli Network to this. I do think Shuli and Joe are smart enough to know that, like, okay, okay. I think they get. I think the the views on the BS show and Uncle Rico are organic. You know, with the exception of. Maybe that time they had 2,500 views and stuff. Clearly something's fishy with that. But again, anybody can buy anybody views. And there's no proof. There is no fucking proof that Shuli or anyone at the Shuli Network has bought views. There just isn't. Other than like Chris Abels. And you could say, well, Chris Abels is at the Shuli Network. Fair enough. Fair enough. You should be awake to what's happening on your network. Correct. But I mean, I mean, Shuli or producers that he pays directly. There's no evidence of that. We have no evidence of that, and 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 that just is. Sorry, it just is. I know you want it to be. I know your team KB. I know. I know. Stuttering John came on yesterday and can't wrap his brain around proof. That's enough. We should get him taken off the thing with terms of service. We proved it. It's like you didn't. You didn't. You're dumb. Your brain can't handle proof. Calm down, Stuttering John. There's no proof of anything, of anything. What do you mean? The Bob Levy did the Venmo. It's like, again, you're dumb. That doesn't prove jack shit. But, uh, you know, again, whatever a cunt hair short of 100% is, Chris Abels is lying and buying views. Lying and buying. Uh, and I and again, it's just because he's dumb and didn't understand it. I think he had 60 views and he's playing in a world where people have hundreds and he wanted to look like he's playing with the big boys. But how'd that work out? And again, it doesn't mean your show doesn't make money. It doesn't mean your show's not successful. It doesn't doesn't mean any of that. Clearly your show's successful. You guys are sitting there drinking and you made over five hundred dollars. No one's saying that didn't happen. No one's saying you don't make money. No one's saying you don't get real super chats. And by the way, everybody who's like, they fake super chats too. They don't. There's not a way to do that. Will you knock it off? Patrick, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Look, you can throw an overlay up on the screen that's like, I just got a super chat. That doesn't make it a super chat. 
So look, I guess somebody could be doing that. They could be throwing up fake overlays. It won't come up in the chat colored. It won't come up in the chat and stick to the top. There's no way to make that happen other with other than tampering with your browser and injecting code. So knock it off. That's not happening. What is is what's real is real. I know you want I know you want it to be. I wish Julie had bodies under his floorboard and we had definitive proof he was we don't. So wake up. We have seen screenshots that, if real, prove Bob does it. We have seen more than enough evidence to prove that Chris Abels does it. And by the way, Chris Abels, again, one of these guys who thinks he's so smart, he's going to go into the police interrogation room and fool the detectives, you know, till we Jim can't swim his ass. You're not smart enough to do that, dummy. And we saw it when you went on... The BS show, even even backed up by four guys who don't know what the fuck's going on, sitting there going, uh, marketing, Hootsuite, Google it, man. Google it, man. I pay for marketing, man, on my show, man. It's like Facebook, man. You're dumb. You're dumb. You come across dumb, and you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I see Stacy Allen in the chat. I guess we're not real reels. I guess we're not real, Brian K. <laughs> Keep fighting that straw man, you fucking idiot. You look dumb every day. And Shuli keeps doing this too. Every day. Everybody comments and they put the comments up. I didn't know I wasn't real. I didn't know I was a fake. I didn't know I was chatting with a bunch of bots. No one's saying that. Knock it off, babies. Knock it off. Again, what is, is. The Shuley Network has tons of fans. The Shuley Network has a lot of people who think it's great. The Shuley Network has a lot of people who support them. No one's saying that. I, I stand by that. I've always said they're doing well. They're doing great. They're making money. And they are. They are. No one's sitting here going, Brian K and Stacey Allen are fake. Real is fake. So keep doing it. Keep going. <laughs> oh, wow. We're fake. <laughs> Did you know we're fake? No one said you were. No one said you were, dummies. Do you think we think the people chatting and giving are fake? You're dumb. You're dumb. You're not being honest. You guys are just, you, you're fighting an argument no one is making. So I, I'll see you all on the BS show again today going like, did you know we're fake? <laughs> Reels will give $20. Sorry, Melton, I'm real. <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. It's like children. No one is saying, no one is saying you're fake, Stacey Allen. No one. So keep pounding that drum, idiots. Again, you you make it look like they are doing something. Ozone said, I'm okay with Melton saying he doesn't know for a fact Shuley's buying views, but he's saying he doesn't think it's true. I There's no, there's nothing. Do you understand? I know you want there to be. I do. I get it. There's not a thing other than Rob Saul saying this guy said I but I do the numbers for the Shuley Network. There's nothing. I can't find anything that's inconsistent in their numbers and ratios. Nothing's off. Again, when it's off, you see it. That show they had 2,500 viewers in the afternoon when they had DG on, whoever the fuck that is. That was clearly fake. It was an anomaly, and it was clear. It was an outlier. No, I don't think they got 2,500 live viewers. No, I don't. Okay? So that one, yes. Every morning when they have 800 people, 900 people, do I think those are fake on the BS show? No, I don't. No, I don't. There's there's literally nothing that would le I know you want it to be, but that don't make it so. So it doesn't even matter what I think. Yeah, but Patrick, don't you think? I don't think. I don't think, yeah, this is what everybody does over on their channel. And then they all roll with it. Like, it, like that's what anybody's saying. Muted growl. Guess I'm a bot. Beep boop. And then they all laugh. Like, yeah, that's what they're trying to say, that you're all bots. No, we aren't. No, we aren't, Shuli. And, you know, I talked to Shuli Tuesday, and I had an uneasy feeling about the conversation. And I couldn't put my finger on why. 
And then they go live and do their show yesterday, and now I know. And now I know. I I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing, Shuli, but I'm not the one. So so uh, today's not fun, and I don't want to do this, but I'm going to go over everything that's happened, and I'm fucking out. I'm fucking out. And I'm not going to, you know, attack Shuli or attack producer Joe. It's more, you know, what do they say? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just fucking disappointed. And it's fucking pathetic, man. And when I go back and watch the show that triggered all this on Tuesday, I'm even more queasy about it now, man, because I know what you tried to do. I know what you tried to do. I know you tried to cover it up. And then when you got called out on it, you tried to fucking cover it up again. And I imagine you're going to go live with the BS show this morning and do another little fucking skit where you guys pretend to be fucking contrite. I'm not interested. So get your skit straight. Get in your squares and go, whoa, what's Melton all mad about? Okay. Fuck off. Everything's a fucking joke when you're apologizing, but when you're levying accusations, you're serious as fuck. I know what you tried to do. I went back and watched it again, and I got fucking sick. It's it's insane what you tried to do, and you know what you tried to do. And and I guess just don't come clean and play dumb. I don't know what Melton's upset about. I don't know what Melton's upset about. Yeah, you don't? You don't? What about when I screamed at you on the phone? Liar? You do know. And full disclosure, I did have a rustic cuts ribeye last night. I opened my freezer and saw them, and I was like, I got to burn these. <laughs> and it was delicious. I only ate half of it, but it's delicious. So this show is fueled by rustic cuts and their delicious steaks. And this show is fueled by the Shuli Network, their delicious snakes. Sorry, that just rhymed, and it seemed like fun. I Look, man. I got all the clips today. I want to run over the whole fucking thing that happened, and then I'm going to let you know where I'm at with it. Because, again, I know they're planning on a big sketch this this morning where they cuck me some more. It's like, fuck off. Joe tried to call me yesterday after the BS show. Hey, could I call you? No. No. I'm done being handled by your team. Um. So I I, I got to go over it all today. Hello? Hello. I, I just wanted to make sure you weren't dodging any calls today. <laughs> I don't dodge calls and I don't hang up on people with a hair trigger. Oh, okay. That was it. That was it. Imagine eating half a steak. I'm sorry. I had broccoli and mashed potatoes with it. It was delicious. <laughs> This fucking sucks, man. This sucks. This show is brought to you by the phrase I told you so. I know, I know, I know. Everybody thinks they're a genius. Everybody thinks they're a genius. I can't. I can't. Uh, okay. This is... I'll just run over it. I'll just get, I, I have to just run over it all in chronological order. I don't know how, how else to do this. Hello. Hey, you know, I know you've been pretty public about shopping for a card. So do you think that maybe it's all misconstrued that you were talking about the brand? They were talking about the brand Dodge that you were making Dodge calls. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go back and see. We're going to watch. Let's go back and see what happened. That's the only way to do it, right? Well, let's see what's happening. Let's just see what happened. Because what is is. So this is uh, the BS show. Monday or Tuesday morning after Rob Saul goes on MLC and levies the accusations. This is this is Tuesday morning. They bring Chris Abel's on as if that's going to help. And again, you know, I have nothing against Chris Abels. I don't know if he's funny. I don't know if he's not funny. He, I know this. He's defensive, and he's too dumb to know that he's hurting himself and not helping. Sorry, Chris Abels. 
Sorry. <laughs> so this is the first uh, indication of heat. He can say what he wants and stuff like that. Melton is showing Venmo receipts. Melton is showing Venmo receipts for marketing that I do. So what? I pay somebody to market the show. There, you guys can look it up. You can go on the fucking internet and look how to market your YouTube show. And then what comes up? When you search how to market your YouTube show, what comes up? Steven Springer. So you see receipts where I was paying for marketing. It's not live views. It doesn't make sense to pay for live views. Are you? We know that, Chris. We know that. You didn't. Stop playing dumb. <laughs> going to pay $100 for uh, live viewers that are doing nothing. Only when you want to double. What, what happened when you, met, when you paid that guy and you said double? You sent him money one time on Venmo, remember? And you said double. Double what? Marketing? Double marketing, please. More algorithm? Double marketing, hmm? No, double would imply a quantity. You know what we got last time? Double it. You don't double marketing. You can double a marketing budget. Just curious nothing for you no it's dead fool throwing out the super chats and stuff like that so it doesn't matter if you have a hundred people watching you or 200 people watching you or a thousand people watching you if people are super you get 60 likes either way <laughs> you're right when you have 60 people watching you you get 60 likes and when you have a thousand people watching you you get 60 likes it doesn't matter you know what it does matter it is about perception it does trick other people into thinking your show is hopping and happening and psychologically incentivize them to give speaking of giving i'm not ignoring your super chats thank you very much bob stinks surely is orchestrating this whole thing you can't possibly be this dumb man hey the show just started why don't you shut the fuck up this this is what i'm talking about i don't want these guys i know you think like i give a fuck i i don't want people who are this dumb I'm, a, I'm going off on Shuli right now, and your perception is I'm cucking it up to Shuli. Do you understand this? There are people literally in Kevin's camp and Shuli's camp both screaming, wow, way to cuck it up to Kevin. Way to cuck it up to Shuli. You're all dumb. You're all dumb. It's not like that. It's not a team. Kevin's a piece of shit, and Shuli turns out might be a piece of shit. The difference is Kevin's not lying. He'll call you a fucking idiot to your face and he'll lie about you on his show every day. And no one takes it seriously. This is insane that this is what you come into this show with. So you're dumb. <laughs> Replayables Friday, 9 p.m. Your views are appreciated. Thank you, Terry. Uh, re oh, well, double it up. Double it up. Replayables Friday, 9 p.m. Your views are appreciated. Shame. They are. They are. <laughs> Seamus McCallum, four months of gifted memberships. Congrats to Steven Springer for getting one too. Single mother of five. Stuttering John keeps saying that peeps and super chats are fake. Yeah, he's dumb. He's dumb. Terry Nee, rehearsals uh, were at seven this morning. I don't even know what that's about. Are you selling crystals? Yes. Davy Cakes, num uh, number were numbers were bumped for perception. The info comes out about Shuli Network buying views. Shuli has two strikes, and they are unsure of exact YouTube rules. He goes on the offensive in response. See, this is another one. He doesn't have two strikes. One was a complete mistake, which YouTube admitted. You guys have to keep. I know you want him to have two strikes, but no amount of saying it into the ether makes it so. Kevin keeps screaming it. You can super chat it. It doesn't make it real. He doesn't have two strikes. Sorry. Wow, he doesn't have two strikes. Way to cuck it up to Shuli. You know, that's what you that's what you guys do. That's you. Wow, he doesn't have two strikes. Melton's really cucking it up today. Does that make him have two strikes? If, if if I want him to have two strikes, does he have two strikes now? I mean, I mean, fuck. Uh, it, doesn't it hurt your brain to be this dumb? YouTube publicly admitted it was a mistake.
the animal abuse strike. You can want it to be drunk on cringe. You can want it to be buying views. You can want it to be whatever you want it to be. Does not make it so, idiots. <laughs> I know I know you want Shuli to have uh, be secretly in charge of concentration camps. Turning on his own. I know, I know that's what you want. <laughs> Kevin doesn't lie. That's a pretty big difference. I mean, yeah. Kevin never lies. You're right. I mean, imagine being you. Imagine being you. Ron, what's funnier than Levy looking confused while Abel's is talking? <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine Levy sitting here like, fuck. <laughs> Davy Cakes, I'll say whatever you want me to say. Bob stinks. Davy Cakes proved Shuli has two strikes. <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess it's true. I guess it's true. Bill Bixby, uh, I'm late. You touched on Abel's and Shuli. Can you say hi to my buddy, Koof? He's giving me patty lore from 05 to 16. Hi, Koof. So Chris Abel's coming. I'm like, Mountain can show receipts, man. I buy marketing, man. Double. Okay. This is where it got interesting. This is where it got interesting for me. And here it is again. Look, Reels, uh, Super Chat's $100. This is for fake views. Is Melton watching? Damn. Damn. It's like, again, I don't think Reels is fake. You got, again, you're making up an argument. No one thinks Reels is fake. Oh, Melton, is this a fake Super Chat? Damn. It's like, whoa, fuck, my world's reeling. Pun intended. Whoa, I thought everybody was fake over there. How how are you getting super chat? I thought every I thought everybody was fake. Ah, oh. wait, no, nobody ever said that. So these guys again, they're on their third day of going like they think everyone's fake in our chat. No, we don't. No, we don't. But keep dodging, keep dodging. <laughs> and I, I guess if you keep fighting that fight, which is easy to prove, it's you know. It's very easy to prove that everyone in your chat isn't fake. <laughs> so that's the fight they're choosing to fight. Yeah, they think all of our, our listeners are fake. Nope. No, we don't. <laughs> There's a difference between being wrong and lying. Yep. Yep. And imagine if you had patience. So here's where it all started. And this, this is fucking gross, okay? Okay. This is fucking sick. And, and, and I was upset about it Tuesday, but going back and watching it again, I'm 100% now, like, just disgusted by Shuli. Because, Shuli, let me ask you this. What were you trying to do to me here? Let's watch. What were you trying to do here? And when Kevin uh, calms down about it. No I, have receipts, <laughs> I have receipts, Shuli. I have receipts. I hope Sent the fake soup. As if I ever said that. <laughs> First of all, they're literal receipts on Venmo. And second of all, they prove nothing. They're not from Shuli. They're not from producer Joe. They're from Chris Abels. Chris Abels is dumb. He's low IQ and he was buying views. <laughs> Chris Abels is dumb. And I think Bob used to be ignorant as fuck about how this works. And I think Bob used to buy views. And I think the proof is there. I think I think everything except a, a definitive, like, you know, again, no one even cares. <laughs> it's the cover-up that's become interesting. Watch this. Super chats don't start send rolling in. Link. I, I can't even get him yeah. to call me back. What do you mean send him the fucking link? <laughs> okay. Send Melton the link. I can't even get him to call me back. Okay? Shuli, you're a fucking liar. You're lying. That is a point blank lie about me. I have never not called you back ever. Not once, not once, not once. Have you ever reached out to me and I not got back to you? That's a fucking lie. You know, it's a lie. So I don't know what this is. You got little butterflies in your stomach and got a little nervous and started lashing out at me. It's a fucking lie. Show proof that you ever tried to get a hold of me and I didn't get back to you. Not when I was asleep. 
I want you to really fucking deep down dive and tell me, liar, that never happened. So where did this little passive aggressive quip come from? You didn't like that I was just asking questions about you. If it's Kevin and I ask questions, I'm cocking up to Shuley. You know, I'm so sick of you tribal fucks. Like Bob stinks all this stuff. Fuck off. You're all dumb. Kevin can be a piece of shit and Shuley can be a piece of shit. But what the fuck is that, Shuley? I've never not got back to you. So, like, what the fuck? And then you continue. You continue. Why did that just get bright? Okay. Uh, but I find it odd that... I can't get the guy to get back to me. And now what? You find it odd. You find it odd. Here we go. Here we go. I find it odd. We're talking about you buying views, possibly... Your network inflating views, Chris Abels, who, by the way, is buying views for all intents and purposes that you're trying, you know, you pulling him on this panel fucking ruined it because this guy's an idiot. This guy's a mental midget, man. Hootsuite. <laughs> now watch this. Out of nowhere, we're not talking about anything to do with loyalty paying comics, any of that. We're talking about receipts and Melton not calling you back now for some reason. And watch this. You say, I find it odd. Get him yeah. to call me back. What do you mean send him the fucking <laughs> link? Uh, but I find it odd that, you know, a guy who put on a courtroom uh, video. Put on a courtroom video. Uh-huh. Five hours of him fighting over $1,200 that somebody's owed that was owed to him that courtroom video is not about twelve hundred dollars again i guess if you change the argument it makes it true there's nothing in that video about twelve hundred dollars there's nothing in that video where i'm trying to get butch bradley to pay me butch bradley took me to court i didn't have a choice idiot i got called to court i don't have a choice well melton chose to take him to court for twelve hundred dollars no i didn't no i didn't I got served papers while I was live. I had to go to court or, or a representative of mine. Technically, I didn't. They could just, I could not appear and they could issue the order of protection. I got called to court. I didn't put on a court video. Also, what are we talking about? Out of nowhere, you start a character assassination on me. Going back and watching this, it's it was like, oh, fuck. Like, I missed it the first time. You know exactly what you were trying to do. What was this, Shuley? What was this? Uh, Melton says, says we might have bought views, and he's showing things that show Chris Abel's bought views. I find it odd that a guy who put on a courtroom video is like, whoa, we switched subjects quick. You sound like Aaron M. Holt. What the fuck was this, Shuli? What was this an attempt to do? Make me look dumb. Let's let you keep going. That he did countless shows about pay the talent, pay the people you owe. It's not right. You're a piece of shit. But he still got all of Kevin's cock and balls in his mouth knowing that he fucking stiffed you for over six grand. So now you're like trying to turn Bob on me. Hey, speaking of Melton, remember when he did that courtroom video? I find it odd. I find it odd that he's gargling Kevin's balls when, when Kevin stiffed you. What? Fuck you. Fuck you. What was this, Shuli? Please pull up any video or audio or text of me saying, Good job not paying Bob. Don't pay Bob. Bob doesn't deserve to be paid. First of all, again, what the fuck does this have to do with anything? Way to pull this out of nowhere, apropos of nothing. It's a character assassination. And you're very serious about it. This, no one's laughing now. I find it odd. Do ya? Do ya? Maybe because you got it all wrong, dummy. I find it odd. Stop finding it odd. Do your research. I've never, ever not said that Bob shouldn't be paid for work he did. It's fucked up. I've said this over and over and over again. I've never wavered on it. 
and I've never even been ambiguous. Kevin needs to pay Bob if he owes Bob money. Period. Period. It's fucked up. Now can we get back to the views thing? Or am I still a piece of shit who doesn't answer the phone? This is sick. It's fucking sick. Where the fuck? What was this, Shuli? What was this? Tough guy. Apologetic guy. And by the way, stop buttering me up all the time. I told you this a long time ago. Every message. Hey, man, big fan. Great show today. You're a real talent. I don't need that. I don't need that. No shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like being fucking worked and handled. And I've known you've been doing it from the fucking beginning. And everybody in here is like, we told you, we told you. I know. I know. I know when I'm being fucking played. Just because I don't say it don't mean I'm not thinking it. The same thing with Chad. I know how to keep my fucking mouth shut because it's not important. It's not important. When I get fucked over, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. And that's what this is. This was a character assassination or an attempt at it. It, it, it got fucked up. You fucked it up. Listen to this. But that's yeah. okay, right? Because it is what it is, right? Kevin's cocking balls in his mouth. Yep. No I'm always going, yeah, don't pay him, Kevin. When that he fucking stiffed you for over six grand. But that's yeah. okay, right? Because it is what it is, right? Yeah. I mean, I yeah. find that uh, pretty fucking, pretty funny. Do you? The thing you just made up, you find funny? And again, are we not talking about views and Chris Abel's? How did this come up? Oh, right. We have to make Melton look stupid. He doesn't answer calls. He's unprofessional. He's not consistent with his logic. He thinks Bob shouldn't be paid. What? On his part. So pick a side, dude. Pick a side, dude. Well, <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we'll do that today. Pick a side, dude. What are you doing? Honestly, Shuli, what the fuck was this? Going back and watching it, what the fuck was this? You think Bob shouldn't get paid? Pick a side, dude. What? No one's ever said anything like that. Pick a side, you know? It'd be nice. Well, you don't have to pick a side. Just tell the truth. So now Bob's telling me I'm not telling the truth. About what? About what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fuck yeah, yeah. Mel yeah, Mel yeah, Melton's lying. Tell the truth, Melton. Fucking guy stiffed him. He's he's no different than Butch Bradley. He's no different. So it is what it is. Deflection. He's, he's, so I'm deflecting. I'm def You hear this? Do you hear this? Answer Four yes times, or no. Butch Bradley. We're, we're answering. I'm telling you, I ain't buying any fucking view. And by the way, just so you know, B Bob Levy called me when this Butch Bradley thing happened and said he was going to help me get the money. And the next thing I know, he's making deals with Butch Bradley to fuck me over. So that's what happened. So Bob ain't the honorable guy either. Bob Bob acted like he was on my side and then helped himself into a into a deal at that club. So what? I'm supposed to pick up banners now and go fighting for Bob? Well, I did anyway. I've never said Bob shouldn't be paid. Bob was on the show. Bob did the work. They had a deal, whether it was fucking, you know, carved in stone or a legal contract or whatever. Bob needs to get paid. It's fucked up. Sorry, Kevin. You do need to pay Bob. Nothing changes that. It doesn't matter if Bob gets mad at me. Bob's calling me a liar. I don't give a fuck. He still should get paid. If Bob never talks to me again, he should get paid. What is is, man? But this is a fucking character assassination out of nowhere, needlessly. Because I wasn't even saying you bought views. And I'm still not saying you bought views. I'm saying Chris Abel probably bought views. Chris Abels is a dumb guy. I, like, this came across like a, it was embarrassing. Viewers on this network. Nobody uh, on my no. team here has bought viewers for this fucking... Again, like, like I, Shuli's not striking me as lying when he says that. I, 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 I may be wrong, but there's no proof, and I think Shuli would be retarded to keep doubling down and saying that 
if he had ever bought views. And again, it doesn't do anything. So I think Shuley knows that. I think Shuley knows that. I don't think he has it in his budget to spend hundreds of dollars a day to buy views for all the shows. I, I, I really don't think Shuley bought views. I'm, I know that's not the findings everybody wants today, but I think the buying views stuff comes from Levy Land, Abel's, Bob, I, the old guard, and not even on the Shuley network that, that I know of, maybe in the beginning. I don't know. I don't know. We only know what we know. And I do know Chris Abel's is fucking lying because <laughs> he doesn't make any sense. But again, he thinks he's smart enough to come on and fool us all. Sorry, some of us have used Hootsuite. <laughs> and if we are, we're doing a pretty shitty job. <laughs> it's not like, you know, we don't have 4,000 people. This isn't rumble numbers. You can look at our total views. You can look at the interaction. You can look at the likes of our shows. And there right. is no way that we're buying views. Yeah, that's There's the no thing. Way. Like, he, he's sitting there saying that, like, uh, Bob was doing this and Shuli's doing this. Rob's so full of shit. I mean, unless these, these screenshots are fake, and I don't think they are because Bob hasn't said they are. Then he's not full of shit. He's not full of shit, Chris Abels. Fuck. N neither one of you guys are doing that. What I did independently was market replayables, my show. I did not go to anybody in, in market, uh, the BS show, the Shuley show, stuff like that. I ended I, I, 100% there was some conversation behind the scenes made clear to Chris Abels. Like, you need to make sure you, you let him know you never did. Anything for the BS show or Uncle Rico or whatever. Independently in marketing my show. So, I mean, that's it. We're, we're just trying to draw on the niche viewers. It has nothing to do with the, the niche viewers. Again, I'd love for you to tell me. I'd love for one person to tell me what the fuck YouTube marketing is. In, in some actual, tangible, actionable thing that was done to promote your show. Banner ads video ads, AdSense ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, uh, demographic targeting. We took our email list and cross-referenced it with the did ya, did ya. God, that guy did all that for $50? Fuck. Fucking live views or anything hey, like that because mm -hmm. the live views would, would do nothing for you. What's up, Joe? Can we just, I just want to follow up on the Venmo because some so many people are bringing it up. So uh, it's proof it's proof positive that we and Mr. Abel's are buying views because Chris Venmoed somebody. Twice. Nope. Nope. No one said that. Matter of fact, quite the opposite. All morning long that day. But again, they what they do, they come on, they say that we said something and then they beat that argument. So let me get this straight. You think everybody in our chat room is fucking fake. <laughs> right, right. It's like, no. No, we don't. So let me get this straight. You think we don't have any real fans? N no. Nobody ever said that. So again, it's very easy to swat down these arguments that you make up that nobody's making. Twice. So oh, obviously, it, right? Was like, it my daughter? Did I? I mean, I sent her money to watch today. I mean, do they have well, that where receipt? Is, where's the <laughs> oh, just because I Venmoed somebody, I'm buying views. What about that time I sent my daughter lunch money? <laughs> and then they all laugh, like that's a real argument. Anybody that somebody made that they just fucking put us in our place over? Yeah, we thought you were buying views from your daughter because you Venmoed her. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I guess when when you and then you accuse me of deflection. You, you accuse me of not fucking dealing with the thing. Well, hey, by the way, why don't you go to another side story about how Melton doesn't answer phone calls or Melton's, Melton thinks Bob shouldn't get paid, even though you made all that shit up too. What, what are you listening to where I've ever said Bob shouldn't be paid? Yeah, I guess he said uh, Bob shouldn't be paid. He's gargling Kevin's balls. Pick a side, man. And then Bob goes, yeah, tell the truth. O okay. Okay, the truth is you tried to fucking assassinate my character for no reason on your show. Fuck you. That's the truth. That's the truth. And again, I, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not, gonna, I'm not after the BS show. After fucking today, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. 
I wish you well. I guess you guys can uh, whip up all the packages about me you want to, to tear me apart again and make up shit. I'm done. I'm done. And if you want to keep doing business with me and have me do your store, fine. I will. But if you want me to help you transfer to someone else, like Drunk on Cringe or anybody else you want to do it, I'm happy to do that too. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Because I don't want you doing business with a guy who doesn't return your calls. I don't want you doing business with a guy who's gargling Kevin's balls and doesn't think you should be paid for your work. I know that's tough. It's tough to do business with a guy you made up doing bad things. Venmo going? Did they investigate, uh, like where they're where they're going to? Nobody's turning on Melton. Yeah, I'm not turning on yeah. Melton. I have no relationship with Melton. Uh, uh, other Mr. than Abel's. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Everybody, shut the fuck up for a second. Yeah, set it straight, Shuli. Other than watching his show and talking to him from time to time and going, "Hey, uh, can we meet up today and talk about the shop? Can we meet up today and talk about the shop?" And then never hearing from him. I don't have a relationship with. All right. So you're a fucking liar, Shuli. You're a fucking liar. I want to put that out there. You're fucking lying about me to make me look bad. You have never tried to get a hold of me and couldn't. And again, don't. Oh, you were sleeping. So you didn't answer the phone. And then what happened? Did I get back to you immediately when I woke up? So knock it to fuck off. You've never said to me, can we get together and talk about this? And then attempted to do it, and then it didn't happen. You made an appointment with me to talk one time last week, and then you didn't keep the appointment. I'm not calling you to talk about what you want to talk about. I have other shit to do. You said, when can we talk about the store? And I said, tomorrow. I'm wide open. I, it's my day off. And you said, great. I'll send you an email too. Like, remember, remember you said you would send me emails just like Joe for months said he would send me emails about what, what you guys want to change in the store for months texting me. Hey, we have some changes for the store. Great. Email him over a week later. Hey man, I got some changes for the store. Great. Email him over. Hey man, when can we get together and talk about the store tomorrow? Call me tomorrow afternoon. Okay. And then you didn't call. So how have I dodged you ever, motherfucker? You're a liar. You're lying to make you look good and make me look like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm loose. I, I don't know how to fucking be professional. You lied and you tried to assassinate my character, period. This isn't a mistake. This isn't kind of. Watching this back made me sick. You tried to shoot at me. There's no other excuse. You can't say shit. You can't say shit. So I look forward to your little sketch this morning where you guys all go around and take turns apologizing for fake. For fake. I don't give a fuck. You're a liar. There's no other. All you need to do is come out and say, I lied. I lied. Melton's never fucking dodged my calls. Melton's never not got back to me. Because that's the fucking truth. So this show happens, and I go straight to bed because I don't care. Believe it or not, I slept like a fucking baby. And I wake up at 2 in the afternoon, call Shuli back after a back and forth, and Shuli plays fucking dumb. First of all, he does his suck-up shit that he always does. Hey, man, great show today. You're a real talent. Blah, 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 blah. Again, I, every time he does this, I I'm, I know you guys think I just, it all goes up here in the head. I've known what he's fucking doing from the beginning. Don't butter me up. Don't work me. Don't handle me. And he does it and Joe does it. Everything. Mr. Melton, Mr. Melton, great show. Love the show. You're a real talent. You're such a bright star. <laughs> I, I hate that shit. And I've told you both I hate that shit. And you continue to do it. As if you didn't fucking talk mad shit about me that day. So then, then Shuli proceeds to be like, I'm sorry if I gave you the impression that, you know, if I said something that meant... Shuli, you fucking lied. 
the impression you didn't imply you said Melton won't get back to me. Melton doesn't return calls. Mel, I can't get a hold of the guy. Right, right. And by the way, he gargles Brennan's balls and thinks Bob shouldn't be paid. Isn't he a bad man? I'm sorry, did I give you the impression? Remember, Shirley on the phone? Well, I never meant to imply that you're a piece of shit, even though I just said it in many ways. And Bob called you a liar, and I called you a liar, and I called you inconsistent. I just find it funny. I find it funny that Melton's gargling Shuley's, uh, uh, Kevin's balls and doesn't want Bob paid. Right. Yeah, I find it funny, too, since you just made it the fuck up. <laughs> Shuley Network didn't buy viewers. I have no idea what Chris Abels did. Bob's no mastermind, and the Levy Land Venmo is most likely run by Chris or Rob. Should have said that instead of lashing out and acting like an idiot, which I also did to Carl. I'm out of it, mate, and don't know what's happening at all. I'm not fake, but if Shuli says something, I'll say the same. Um, Steve C., why do we care about views? I just had a great poo. Why are they covering up? In your opinion, can you do an I'm in the deep end MLC shirt? I don't know what that. Rob saw about Coke uh, for Bob from me. Hi, Joey. Davey kicked. Did you notice Bob said 4,500, then Shuley said 6,000, then 6,500, and then 7,000 all in three minutes? No, I didn't. Imagine believing Kevin owes Bob money. <laughs> Chris Abel's vice president of Shuley Network Marketing. People acting like Shuley is why the Holocaust happened. And then Shuley goes, I said, why are you telling people I don't get back? And he's like, well, producer Joe sent you several emails about updates to the store, and you ignored him. You didn't get back to him. And I said, no, I didn't. No, I didn't ignore him, ever. He's never sent the email. It's been over a month. He's never emailed. I challenge him or you or anyone to bring up an email I haven't replied to. I dare you. I dare you. It didn't happen. And then Shuli said to me, if he's lying, he's going to get it. But, you know, in that tongue-in-cheek Shuli way that, like, means he's not and Melton's an idiot and he'll believe this. I've had enough, man. I've had enough of being fucking handled and worked. I feel it. I know what you fucking, what you tried to do on that show, there's going back and watching that, it's sick, man. It's fucking sick. And nothing short of you coming out and going, I fucking lied. I panicked and lied to try to make Melton look bad. Because that's what you fucking did. You and Bob called me a fucking liar. And I'm sorry, but I like you, Bob. And I know you're probably listening. I, I, I like you. I got along with you. We had a good time doing shows. Uh, this has fallen to shit. This has gone to shit. I, I'm not the fucking liar. I I have receipts of all this stuff. And then you told me on the phone, Joe told me, he said, and I told you again, he was full of shit. And don't do that to me. And then you did it again where you're like, I didn't, I didn't mean to, I didn't know it was that big of a deal. And I said, yeah, 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 it was. It was a bigger deal than I thought on the phone. And then he does this, oh, I've been talking to a producer in Hollywood who wants to put you in a movie. Suck my dick. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> None of this is here nor there. Stop lying about me. I think you're a real great talent and you do a great job and a great show. Shut up. <sighs> I'm so sick of it, man. You don't get to go on your show and, and call me a liar and then call me up later and go, big fan, by the way, big fan. You're not. You're not. So after that, he says he'll make it right. He's going to apologize. Everything's going to be all good. There's a new thumbnail for, for yesterday's BS show. It's got me on it. It's got Bob. It's got Shuli. It's got Chris Abels. It's got Rob Saul. It's got Mike Morse. It says, someone here is a liar. 
Someone here is lying. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Now, remember, he says producer Joe lied, but producer Joe wasn't on that thumbnail. But at least I'm going to get my justice, I thought. You know, so I wake up yesterday, my day off. I turn on the BS show. I can't wait to hear them um, clear up that Melton doesn't return, you know, that Melton never dodged a call. Melton never ignored your requests for communication. And and I told him on the phone that day, like, I've never said Bob shouldn't get paid. Where the fuck did that come from? And he plays dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm waiting for my apology. I turned on the BS show yesterday morning. Here we go. What marketing did Chris buy? And did Bob <laughs> recommend the marketing guy to Bob? Uh, th- well, there, there you go. Two marketing questions. Bob. That looks like Mike. Yeah. We'll have to it's figure it out. Sleeve, so. We'll have to. F- so, did Bob ever give the marketing guy over to Rob Saw? And Bob's answer is, "We'll have to figure this out. We'll have to figure this out. When today's the day to do that? <laughs> yeah, we'll have to. I guess we'll have to look into that. Figure this out. I don't. How, when was this? Was this like? Uh, yeah, Bob doesn't recently? remember what he did yesterday. Now, <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, do I think Bob is masterminding a fake viewership uh, scheme here? No, I do not. Uh, I do not. I find the guy who's off this show faster than you guys are out of here, uh, I don't think is taking the time to set up uh, fake viewers uh, and stuff like that. Okay. Well, an hour after this happened, proof came out that he was. So, again, one more point for what Shuli thinks. I think it's weird that Melton doesn't think Bob should be paid. Well, stop thinking, I guess, because it's broken. You know, I I guess your brain is fucking broken because that's two things you think that are way off. Yeah, we'll have to get to the bottom of this. (sighs) On the network, so. Yeah, I uh, mean, myself. Uh, I made this. I have to leave right away so I can get this set up so we can have uh, uh, how many people? 854. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, they're they're trying to make it like we're accusing the BS show of buying viewers today. It's like I I, I don't think I, I think eight hundred people are watching the BS show. I really think that number is real. It's it's not un- unbelievable. That's not unbelievable. So again, we're asking Bob if he put this guy in touch with Rob Saw, and Bob's answer is Oh, yeah, I better get out of here early so I can buy these 800 people who are watching now. It's like we're not even talking about that. These guys just imagine accusing anyone else of deflection and you guys keep fighting arguments no one is making. Yeah, I guess everybody in the chat room is fake right now, huh? Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, that's what we said. 54, there you go. Now, Bob reminds uh, me the, the bosses at the end of Casino where the lawyer is like, uh, Your Honor, these, these bosses are uh, <laughs> feeble and yeah. uh, infirmed. Yeah. <laughs> Poor fucking Zenhauser caught in the middle of all this. Later in this show, it gets asked again. And remember, this show is called Someone is a Liar. Like, that was what they were going to do. They were going to get to the bottom of the, of the thing. Remember the day before? Wow, producer Joe lied to me. He's going to pay for that. Because he made Melton look stupid. We're going to get on. We're an hour into the show now. They've not brought it up. They're not trying to figure out who the liar is. They're obfuscating more. They're dodging more. Here we go. This is yesterday morning. Sitting there with the oxygen mask. And then as soon as as soon as soon the door closed, Bob's like, all right, let's get those numbers off. Come on. Let's get those fucking numbers over. <laughs> oh, wait. That's the wrong clip. It looks better now. Does Bob have a marketing guy in his phone, says Dang Lizard. Let's see. Let's see. Ready for another skit? Ready for another skit? Now, remember the day before, it was really serious. You know what I find interesting is that Melton doesn't think Bob should be paid. I can't get a hold of the guy. I don't look. Let me clear. Shut up, everybody. Let me make this clear. I have no relationship with Melton other than he dodges my calls and won't answer me and won't talk to me. Well, Starts so with an I'll M. Hit, I don't want to hit an M. So I now, do you, did you put this marketing guy in touch? Let me go through my phone. So here's a little sketch called going through Bob's phone and just naming M names. And then hopefully you'll forget what the question was so we can all move on. Oh, okay. M. Let's see what I have as M. I'm sure I'm first. I have uh, Melton. 
ahead. Valmount Al, Al Martin, <laughs> Anthony J. Monty, Bonnie McFarlane. Where's my number, Bob? Chrissy Mayer, Compound Media. How does Compound Green. Media go under M? Because media. How does Compound Media go under M? <laughs> ha, ha, history. About show in Morristown. What does that, what that mean? <laughs> so now he's just reading text. Yeah, he's never seen Derek, Derek yeah. manager of, of... Did you guys forget the question yet? Did the skit fool you all? Did you all forget the question? Ha 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 Good skit. R-E, R-H-E, stress fact. Why is that under M? Because he's, because uh, manager comes up in the name. Because money, I can make money. I got, Fucking on the Z, I got Xanax no. guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. I think they forgot already. I got a um, dead uh, hooker uh, guy. R is remote guy for when the dog eats the. Remote. Well, the dog ate. We got to get damn. Got to get another one now because he ate the one on the couch and he ate. Oh, uh, we're off on the dog now. A, a fucking phone charger that was on the couch. Nothing could stay on the couch. Like nothing, anything he sees, he's like, hey. I'll just I've explained bring this to you ten to times. I've explained to you ten times. You don't. And, and by the way, I know he had some gifted memberships this morning. I, I missed him completely, and I'm flustered today. Because, again, I, I don't want to fucking do this. This is sick. But I'm not going to sit here and be the bitch and be lied about anymore. Enough. Enough. And your little sketches and skits that you do where you're pretending to apologize publicly, but they carry no weight because you're full of shit. I'm out. So thanks for all the gifted memberships and stuff, but uh, I, I missed them. I don't know who did that. Thank you need a new room just get an app on your phone and you yeah. can work the remote well that's what it is they yeah, have that. remember this was all did bob put the marketing guy in touch and now they're look look what they're off on they're good i don't um, have that but i'm not i want a fucking remote i like remotes i like things the old-fashioned way okay. uh walker is producer joe going to apologize to melton yes, yes we all it. are we do all it. are do it do it right now thank you Melton's a lovely right man. I, I spent yeah. time with him, I, and he's a lot of fun. And, you know, he is. Here's what I, here's what I, first of all, Melton did a great show yesterday. I got to give him props. He's a talent. He's such a good guy. Props on that. Uh, really good. Second, here's what I learned about Melton after yesterday. Okay? He may not like this, but I'm going to say it. Uh, <sighs> Melton. Melton. <laughs> I am sitting there. Okay. Melton likes me. Oh. That's for sure. That I know. He really likes me. He really likes me. Because I made a huge uh, mistake. You know, I upset him yesterday by uh making a comment that, that I didn't think was that uh bad of of a comment. Yeah, I know. Me neither. You kind of gaslit me that afternoon. But going back and watching it, it was bad. It was bad. You know what you tried to do? What was that, Shuli? Hey, I know we're talking about receipts, but let me stop real quick and make Melton look like he doesn't support Bob and he's inconsistent. Fuck you. <laughs> but it upset him. We talked about it. Doesn't it doesn't upset me. It's just like you're lying. You're lying out of nowhere to protect you from what? A thing I don't even think you're doing, by the way. <laughs> you know. All this doesn't change the fact that I, I, I don't think he's buying views. But he had to lash out. And now he has to back backpedal and make it sound like, oh, I I didn't think it was that bad when I called him a liar and uh and and a guy who doesn't get back to me and ignores me and and doesn't support Bob and Bob called him a liar. I didn't think it was that bad. Pick a side, dude. Put it. Uh, I explained to him that. Oh, you mean people talk about stuff? Oh my God! I thought they just ramble for no reason. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing to have people like that. I reached out. I called them. Uh, he did not call me back till later. But that's because he was sleeping. Oh, uh, there he is, calls. not calling back again. No, no, he was asleep. My sweet angel was sleeping, having beautiful dreams, and he deserves that. He did a great show yesterday. 
So uh, I apologized. Like the man that I am. No, no, no. You said if I if I gave you the wrong impression, or if I made it seem like you're a you're not responsive. It's like, and and I and I told him this point blank on the phone. I'm not two guys, so everything I'm saying here, I said to him. I said, Julie, you made it seem like that because it's what you said. You, you, it seemed like that because it's exactly what you said. And he's like, and it, here's what he said to me. This was real. He's like. All right, I'll kill myself. All right, I'll, I'll fucking walk into the sea. Sorry. It's like, I don't need you to do that. I just need you to admit you lied. I need to admit you, you out of nowhere, tried to come at me and assassinate my character with complete bullshit. For what, by the way? Again, I wasn't accusing you of anything, so I don't know why you feel the need to completely make up a thing. Wait a minute! I hurt his feelings. I I love Melton. I, I no hung out no. With him. You called me a liar. You called me a liar and told me to pick a side. No, you 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 need to apologize as well. I want us all to go around and apologize for what? to Melton. For what? I, so here we go. Another skit for for saying the exactly show is great for, for saying for, 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 for so no mention on this show. No mention that. Joe told us he emailed you a lot, and you say he didn't, that Joe was lying. Now, I don't even know if that's true. Shuli could be throwing Joe under the bus. Do you understand? That's where I'm at now. And, and Shuli didn't bring it up on this show because maybe he didn't tell Joe that he threw Joe under the bus. Maybe Shuli was just telling me that to get me off his back. Joe said you emailed him a lot, and I said, no, I didn't. And he goes, well, I'll get that Joe. Then you do a show the next day where you're like, we're going to find the liar and never even bring it up. You never even bring it up that Joe told you he emailed me a bunch and didn't. Did you think I'd forget? No. No, you got out of it by saying, well, Joe told me that he did try to reach out, and that's why I said that. Okay. Then you need to admonish Joe. Then Joe needs to go, hey, I did tell Shuli that I called you a bunch. I put that on you, and, and I lied because I got behind and I didn't want him to think I wasn't on top of it, so I said that you dropped the ball. Whatever it is, who's, who's lying? Did Shuli throw Joe under the bus, or or did Joe fuck up and lie about me? I, I don't even know now because I know Shuli will fucking lie. For saying I have a great time when I, I met him and we had a great show? Yeah, well, that's what I want an apology for, Bob. Apologize for what? For saying that I had a great time when I met him and we did a good show? Yeah, that's what I want an apology for. <laughs> you know, do you guys buy your own bullshit? Wow, they think everybody in the chat room's fake? Yeah, yeah. Wow, he wants me to apologize for having a good time? Yeah, that's what I want an apology for. No, for you saying I'm a liar. <sighs> oh, my yeah, God. you should know better. You should know I'm better. I'm sorry. And then Shuli buys into it, and then they do a sketch about apologizing, but never bring up what they're apologizing for, never bring up the producer Joe thing from the day before. It's all a big skit. It's all a big skit. Yeah, you should apologize to Mr. Melton. We love that guy. Fuck you. For having Thank a you. good time with you. <laughs> Thank and you. And having a great time. <laughs> We're having fun. Joe. Thank you. I, I will apologize happy. now. Poor Zenhauser. I will apologize. Hey, you should just apologize for your book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're off on the book again. Let's get to the pool and the solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the real crime here, if we're being honest. All right, here I go. Uh, Are you going to apologize, Bob Crackhead Bob? I a, am a, sorry. Thank you, uh, Crackhead Bob. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, do Super Thank Chatters you. ruin the Shuli melton relationship yesterday, and I thought I succeeded. Hey, man. We go way back, mm -hmm. Patty and I. Months. And, it, and nothing's going to come between brother. us. Nothing. Not oh. uh, not KB. Not uh, not uh, 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 yeah. Eh. Couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> nothing's going to come between us. Not KB. Not uh, 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 uh. Not since Chad listing out the foods he puts his hot sauce on. Has someone not been able to come up with a list of things? I put my hot sauce on everything, chicken, uh, everything, you know? So, okay.
Kumi's character is questionable, but damn it, he is funny. Everybody's character is questionable. Holy shit, Ghost of Mr. P, 20 gifted memberships. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's a somber show today because, uh, look, th this sucks. This sucks. I like Shuli. I, I, I got along with Shuli. Shuli's never been anything but nice to me and straight up with me. But I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and let you get away with this. And not call it out. I'm not a bitch. I'm not going to be fucking played and lied about. And then you ha have you on the phone, act like you're sorry and you fucked up and shift the blame to Joe. And then you come on a show that you, you title, we're going to find out the, we're going to get to the bottom of it. And then you do another one of your little sketches. You do another one of your little, we're going to go around and we're all going to ha 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 ha. Uh, let me see if there's anything else in this one. I don't think so. So then cut to yesterday afternoon. So, so BS show ends and I get a text from producer Joe. Hey, can I call you? And I just said, I'm good. I'm done being handled. And then an hour goes by and I get a text from Shuli, you know, cause I'm sure producer Joe ran and told Shuli, uh oh, mountains off the reservation. We might be losing control of this one. You might want to get get your uh, head around this. So then Shuli texts me a screenshot of Kevin uh, is friends with Nasir, the views by the views buyer guy. Look, Kevin and Nasir are friends. Oh no, that carries just as much weight as anybody saying you buy views. And, and, and Kevin happened to text me later and out of fairness, I asked Kevin, I go, Hey, you know, what's up with you being friends with the views mind guy? Have you ever talked to him or about views? And Kevin just answered smart ass. Yeah, we're best friends. I went to a family reunion. I went to an Indian 4th of July picnic and I just wrote big if true, but you know, that's just part of my ball gargling. Cause I think he shouldn't pay Bob cause I'm a big liar. So then yesterday afternoon, they do a show. And again, another little skit. I'm sorry. I don't mean to yeah, harp on this, I'm but what am I supposed to be apologizing to Melton? You for? know. So hold on. So Shuli jumps in. You know. <laughs> you know. Trying to quell this. Oh, oh you, you know. know. You know. You, 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 uh, oh, yeah. You said you emailed him and he didn't have emails. Mm. Oh. You you were you were so <laughs> apologize. Well, can we show the screenshots I sent you yesterday? So I don't know what that is. I don't know what he's talking about. Can we show the screenshots I sent you yesterday? Show them. Show them. You got something that makes me look bad and I'm lying? Show it. Show all the emails you've sent me that I ignored. Show them. I, I honestly have no idea what this is about. Because when called out the Joe, so we never get to the bottom. That's gone. What we just talked about, that's already fluttered off into the ether. We've already changed the subject, but you're not supposed to notice. Y yeah, apologize. Cause you said you were, were reaching out to Melton and he ignored you, so apologize. So then Joe says, well, show the, show the screen caps I have. Please do. Please do. Show all the screen caps. No one's going to get me. No one. Because I don't do shit that I don't say. Anyone got any dirt on me? Show them. Show the caps. Show the caps of me doing gay ops. Show that caps of me going after you. Show the caps of you sending me emails and me ignoring them. Show them. Make Melton look dumb. Show your proof. Show your proof. And, and, and I don't know if Shuli really tries to bury something here or not because he, he steps all over this. You, you, were, you were so <laughs> apologize. Or can we show the screenshots I sent you yesterday? Of what? Of you lying? <laughs> I've already, I already know you're lying. You don't have to send me screenshots of it. Oh, right. Okay, I apologize to Melton. There Is everybody I'm happy now? No, Everybody's happy. Why don't you oh, apologize to your fucking neighbor? And you know what I love? Because <laughs> <laughs> of the because he pulled the gun. We've already moved. We've already moved. Moved on. 
We're not going to address anything. Saying, like, go over and say, look, let's get this over. Look, let's fucking, why don't, why don't me and you go to Applebee's and Apple just go to the shooting you know, range? That yeah. neighbors love Applebee's. He's right about yeah. that. The old people love that. No, Joe, you stay. <laughs> John, you got to put John's face on that. <laughs> that was it? Uh, oh, that's great. Uh, good job, uh, Joe. Thank you for apologizing and specifically doing it like a cunt. I like that yeah. part. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm sorry. <laughs> so, look, you know, none of this is serious. Like, I don't give a fuck. But when the apology comes, we never quite say what we're apologizing for. And we laugh it off at every opportunity. We go down a different road for comedy. John, Joe pulled a gun on his neighbor. The chat users are fake. We just keep laughing and laughing. But when you were saying that Melton, you know, you know what I find interesting? That Melton is gargling his balls and doesn't think Bob should be paid. Pick a side, man. It wasn't funny then. It wasn't funny then when you were making shit up about me. That was a serious tone. That mattered, didn't it? Because you were trying to prove yourself innocent by attacking me. So that was a serious tone. When it comes to apologizing or admit you did something wrong or that Shuli threw Joe under the bus and the Joe, okay, I apologize. Everybody feel good now? No, no. You're fucking pathetic, man. It, this is pathetic. <laughs> and again, it doesn't, I don't care, <laughs> you know. We we never have to we never have to deal with this again. We never have to prove we never have to um talk or argue or whatever, but I guess they were getting more heat yesterday after not really fessing up and, and the the phone call Julian I, I had Tuesday that never got manifested out that he was full of shit on Wednesday. Julie, you need to come out and say I lied. I panicked and lied. There's no other anything to it. You lied. You purposefully lied and made up shit about me. Sorry. You did. You did. You tried to discredit me and hurt my reputation. A hundred percent you did. There's, there's no other way around this now. Sorry. You fucking lied about me on purpose. And now you're dancing around the apology and who's responsible you know, and by the way, when he called me, when he called me Tuesday afternoon, he said, Hey, you know, I've got a problem. I, I was looking into this. I watched your show because he hadn't watched my show from that morning. And he goes, Chris Abel's, it looks like this guy's buying views. This is what he said to me. And he didn't ask me to keep this private. So I'm not spilling anything that was asked. If he would have said, keep this private, I wouldn't. He said to me, what do I do with this guy? You know, it looks like I got a guy over here on my network who might be up to something shady. And he told me he reached out to Chris Abels and said, you have some explaining to do. What's going on here? No mention of that the next morning. That was just for me, wasn't it? That was just for me. Hey, Joe said that he contacted you. I'm going to get that, Joe. That was just for me, wasn't it? That was just for me. Because when you went live the next morning, you didn't mention that, hey, it looks like Chris Abels might be buying views. I talked to Chris Abels. I told him he had some explaining to do. No, nope, none of that came up. Just a big skit about how Melton's being a sensitive guy. Well, I guess we hurt Melton. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. <laughs> what did we say that was so bad? You called me a liar. <laughs> so then the, the text leak out with Bob proving that he looks like he did put this guy in touch with Rob Saul. Looks like Bob was buying views. They didn't know this at the time, I guess. So then it all comes out. Then they do their afternoon show. Then they go to their afternoon show and put on another skit. Do you guys like skits? Here's another classic Shuli Network skit. Joining us, we got some John content. We got the Space Chief Collection in the merch store. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Hamhead. It's not a new collection. It's just rearranged. They've been in there since the beginning when the store launched, but they're at the top now. So head over and get them quick. Really sucks knowing that for the past year, I haven't really been watching this or talking to anyone real in chat. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This show is like the movie Inception. Like you're like, yeah. Uh, so they're, so they're, again, 
Now they're fighting the fake argument. Wow, I didn't know everybody I was talking to in the chat was fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they think, right? <laughs> no. No. Here's another one of their killer chat members. This show is fake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. Uh, but the merch I is real. You guys were my friends. You're not even real. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? They think we're all fake. They think Mike Morse is fake. <laughs> it's just fighting ghosts. Just arguing with shit that no one's arguing. Now, the merch is real over at the Shuley Network shop, shop .com, The Shuley Network shop .com, where we have the Space Chief collection available to right. you. And if you're a member of Patreon or you're a member behind the wall, uh, there is in your uh, perks, right, Joe? It, uh, there's a discount code. Oh, now you're gonna be now he's gonna be nice to Melton, Joe. All of a sudden, uh, you know what I mean? It's, he's getting, I'm punishing him tomorrow morning. See, another big sketch. He better be nice to Melton. I'm punishing him tomorrow morning. It's all a big joke. It's not a joke when you call me a liar. It's not a joke when Bob calls me a liar. But now it's a big joke. He better apologize to Melton. We're gonna tomorrow morning. Wait, we got a whole segment plan where he's. We're gonna get him. We're gonna make Joe apologize. Oh, can't wait. He's I fucking, like he, I he, like Mr. Melton. I've always yeah. liked Mr. Melton. And yes, the so on YouTube in your perks and on Patreon, there's posts that have the discount code. Why'd you yeah. go at him yesterday then? Well, you know what? Save it for BS tomorrow because he will feel my wrath tomorrow. Okay. I can tell. I can tell, Shuli. This all seems really serious now that you've been called out for being a fucking liar. This all seems real serious. Oh, wait till tomorrow. We got this whole thing planned where we play sound effects and tell Joe he's a bad guy. <laughs> Stay tuned. So you, you don't come to Las Vegas and talk to Patrick Mountain like that. Yes. <laughs> you know? And by the way, I, this is retarded. I don't care. You talk to Patrick however you want to talk to him. Do whatever you want to talk to. You know, I, uh, fuck, man. Matter of fact, I mean, transfer it. Find someone else to do your store and let me transfer it off. I don't want to do this to you guys anymore. It, it's, it's There's got to be a real cognitive dissonance. I don't want Bob having merch in a store with a liar who thinks he shouldn't get paid. I don't want Joe to have to constantly be struggling with a store when no one will get back to him. I feel, I just feel torn up about the whole thing. So I, I don't blame you guys. Find, find another guy to do your store. Look, I'm not taking your store down and I'm not that kind of guy, but find another guy. We'll get it transferred all over. We'll get it set up. I don't want you to ever have trouble reaching out to me again like that. I feel bad about that. And I don't want Bob to have merch from a guy who thinks he shouldn't be paid and won't pick a side. That's fucked up. That's fucked up that you guys have to deal with me like that. I, I, I don't want you to have to go through that anymore. Uh, hello. Hey. I, what you're talking about right now is what has been bothering me all morning. You kept saying that you were, were going to keep the, the store. And yeah, I mean, really I'll keep their store like for them. Shit. They pay me for the store. So, like, whatever. I'm happy to do the store. But if you're going to go, like, oh, we wish we could get the store. We wish we could get new products in the store, but Melton won't answer. Oh, we've been trying to get a hold of yeah. Melton. I can't get a hold of the guy. I can't get a hold of the guy. But my point is, if, if they're really doing you wrong, just do what you just said. Just tell them, say, look, 30 days, i give you 30 days, find a new guy, do this, and be done with them. Yeah, I if don't... you're still doing their, if you're still doing their store, I mean, what you it need kind of to... looks like this is a what, work. What you need to understand is when you say doing their store, it's done. The store's up and running. It takes no work from me. It's not like when an order comes in, I have to run it down to the mail room, like, I do nothing. Uh, somebody orders, the shirt goes out. I don't do anything. So it's no work for me. I understand me. It's, that. it's no work for me. No, I, but it's an attachment to them. And if you're yeah. saying you're done with them, then just break all ties 
and you're done with them completely. Yeah. Well, look, I'm not I'm not putting a gun to their head and saying you got to have it out within 30 days. But I I wouldn't want to work with a guy who won't get back to you. I wouldn't want to work with a guy who who you yeah, think I, is a liar and who you think uh, thinks I, Bob shouldn't be paid and. I agree, and you are you, and you make your own decisions. This is just something that's been bothering me the whole morning. I've been watching. I just I got to... you. I got you. I I just All I'm right, not man. I'm not even like I'm not gonna go shut their thing down. I'm not like that kind of guy. Well, so I'm, like I'm not I'm not saying you know I'm not saying that. Like I just said was like just tell me you know find a new guy. I'll give you thirty days, sixty days, whatever. Just find somebody. Take. We heard you. Yeah, I know. I'm just. All right, man. Take care. All right. Take care. Later. Yeah, I don't. I don't want you to have to deal with that. I don't want you to have to deal with uh, Melton like that. That's fucking rough. Uh, What were you saying, Mike? Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Is that the nickname for your cock? Feel the wrath. (laughs) Feel the wrath. More like my toe, a big toe in its toenail. Oh my god. (laughs) It's I more see, like feel the burn. <laughs> <laughs> I see the super chat machine is up and running. Uh, so let, we'll get to that. Michael P. Darren S. today. That'd be interesting. And I, now I want to go. I thought that bug. I see. He told me every. Oh, Thank you. Camera. Thank you. It was a it was, you restaurant. Listen, funny you should say that, Stacey Allen. Uh, Mr. Melton, who we all love here, uh, and Joe will be punished for his actions. Yeah, again, I can tell it's real. I can tell it's really serious. I can tell you really want to find out what happened, Shuli. I can tell you really are interested in who lied. Uh, is working on a little something special. No, I'm not. I'm not. I told you I would look into it, and now you've gone to your fucking people and told them it's coming. So again, you know, if it doesn't happen, I'll be the asshole. But I told you, let me look into this. He said, can we make John 316 shirts and anybody can put their own quotes on them? I said, I said, yeah, there's a way. Let me look into it. I've never done it. Let me look into it. We'll get it set up. And now he's run to you and told you it's coming. It ain't. I'm not going to put any time into that. Get your new guy to do it. Again, th- these are all things I was doing of my own time and, and, and energy to help you. Graphics work, programming work, design work. Happy, happy to do it, by the way. I'm happy to do that for any of my fucking friends. And, you know. But again, I told you, let me look into this. And you run to your people and go, guess what Melton's going to put in the store today? For the fans of Rico. I'm just watching Bob's eyes darting around. No, no, so no, 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 no. So uh, we're going to, we're hopefully going to have, uh, you'll you'll have the option to make your own John 3. Hopefully, okay. 16 shirts. Ooh. Uh, Work so again. This is amateur hour. Everyone, stop announcing shit before it's ready. Do you think I'm not working on stuff? Shh, keep it quiet. This is like Steel Toe announcing their coffee two weeks before it's available. Guys, the coffee's ready, only it's not ready. Shut up. <laughs> Everyone, shut up with what you're working on. All hail Melton. Thank you. Uh, see, we, we... that's the shit they do. They think that that makes up for it. They suck my dick. I'm not, the, I'm not dumb. I guess this works with everybody else in your fucking universe. I'm not retarded. You guys don't get to talk all the shit you want about me and then call me during the day and go, we love you. You're great. You're so talented. You're so smart. Fuck you. It doesn't make up for it. And then, by the way, when you get called out on it and you apologize to me privately and you go public and try to dance around it and you don't tell the full story and you're not a completely honest person about what transpired, I'm done. I'm done. You had two chances yesterday and you chose to do little skits. You chose to do little Mike Morris finger puppet skits. Let's all go around and say sorry to Mr. Melton. You better believe tomorrow Joe's going to get it. And I bet it's, I bet BS show's great this morning. I bet Joe really gets it. I bet you let him have it. Don't bother. I'm letting you know right now, Joe and Shuli, don't fucking bother. I don't care. There's nothing you're going to fucking say that's going to satisfy me. I'm letting you know that right now. 
Not because there's nothing you can say that could satisfy me, but I know you won't. I know what you'll do already. I already know what's coming. Whoa. Whoa. Melton's all in his feelings. Melton's sensitive. Whoa. What did we do? Whoa. That's what it'll be. Another skit. Another stupid skit. <laughs> Don't fucking bother. Just put on your John clips and do your show. Don't even fucking bother. Because I don't care. Like, there's nothing you're going to do or say. There's nothing you're going to do or say that's going to be honest enough and real enough. I've seen it. I've seen it. I know what it'll be. It'll be a bunch of fucking squares doing a little cute skit. And you know what sucks? That we do have a lot of crossover fans. The same thing that sucked for fans when MLC and, and or Kevin and Bob had a falling out. You know, the most autistic of the fans will tribally pick a side, and so be it. So be it. Wow, Melton turned on Shuley. Hashtag Team Shuley. Wow, Shuley fucked Melton over. Hashtag Melton. Knock it off, everyone. Listen to whoever you like. Listen to what makes you laugh. Listen to what gets through, you, through your day. We're not real people to you. This is a podcast. Stop pledging blind loyalty as if as if we're, you know, in, in the trenches in a war and you have to pick a side. You don't. You don't. You're allowed to like Shuli. You're allowed to like Bob. I enjoy Bob. I enjoy Shuli. Well, in, I, I, before all this John shit nonstop, I used to watch the BS show every fucking day. Will this probably make me watch less? Yeah, because I just can't. It's ruined for me. The illusion's ruined for me. Because I know you have no interest in going near the truth now. You want to dance all around it. When, when you're being attacked, you want to lash out. I've seen how you behave now. I, I it, Just so we're clear, I wasn't even attacking you. I wasn't accusing you of anything. And I've seen how you treat people when you think they're coming after you. So I'm done. I'm done. This was inexpensive way for me to find out if you're if you're really a friend or not got it message received you're not you're not someone in your chat told you i was accusing you of something and then you lashed out at me about butch bradley <laughs> you know so whew. okay i re it's it's gut journey it's not important. I, I understand this is all dumb and gay, but it's gut churning because they've always been fair to me. They've all, it's the same. You guys know this. I, I've defended. And by the way, when I called Shuli out for doing something that I thought he did fucked up on Twitter one time and I was wrong, I misheard. Go look at the apology tweet. I fucked up. I was wrong. I misheard. Shuli didn't say that. I look like an idiot. I stepped in it foot in my mouth i fucked up apologies to shuli it's on my twitter timeline it happened a few months ago i, I thought i thought he said something and and i fucked up i i look like an ass it happens it happens a lot that's how you apologize you don't put it on somebody else you don't dance around it you don't make it like whoa what did we even do i didn't think it was that bad what did we even say no you fucking watching it back there's no doubt in your mind what you were trying to do you tried to assassinate my character you tried to make me look like a liar who shouldn't even be listened to you're gonna listen to melton about receipts <laughs> look how inconsistent he is with with bob getting paid he doesn't even answer the phone we don't even know melton he doesn't talk to us Right. Right. 20 gifted memberships from Vaping Dago. And it, again, I'm not showing the enthusiasm I should for this kind of stuff today. Wee! Thank you. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you for the super chat. I know we're so behind. Um, let me get into it. Uh, we all owe Owen Benjamin an apology for years. He's claimed the Shuleys have been exaggerating their numbers since 1937. Ha ha Holocaust. 
Davey Cakes, thanks for joining. Tampa Terry, hey, brother, Melton brother, if Shuli and Bob are watching, you can tell them this means war, brother. If KB's watching, tell him he can get it too, bro. <laughs> and hello for life. Now, I look, uh, at least MLC is different every day. I'm back watching MLC. I love MLC. I, I turned it off yesterday. That's the thing, too. I fatigue. I turned it off after uh, Rob Saul was on a little bit. So I turned it off, but now this isn't war. I, I, in, in the words of Ray DeVito, I wish him well, this isn't war. I'm just out. I'm out. I, I'm not going to sit here and glad hand you motherfuckers while you lie and talk shit about me. And then don't do, I want you to come with the same energy with the fucking apologies you did with the conviction. No, we got a funny skit. We're going to do. Why should I apologize for saying Melton's great? Yeah, Bob, that's what I want an apology for. Are you, hold on. Are you dumb or do you think I'm dumb? Which is it? No, I want an apology for you calling me a liar, motherfucker. For saying I didn't have your back. Pick a side. That's what I want an apology for. So, yeah, Kevin, Kevin's probably licking his goddamn lips laughing at this shit. Just like you did when I went after Kevin for stuff. Both things can be true, man. Both things can be true. So I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it. Because you had a guy on your side. You had a guy who defended you. And you had a guy who told all the people forever who talked mad shit about you that there was no evidence. You know, I'm not a guy who had a preconceived notion of you at all. And now I know you're full of shit. Do another skit, dues payer. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to jump on the dues payer bullshit. Uh, Davy Cakes, do you really jerk with your left hand? Never. Not once. This is unbelievably condescending. Butch Bradley, member for two months. Don't forget in court discovery that you had to submit proof that you never received funds from me. You are too broke to hire an attorney. LOL. What? Proof that how do you prove you never received funds from say all these people are so sure that that's how court works you have to prove a negative every everyone's sure that that's how court works no you have to prove that you have to prove that you didn't threaten his life what goes to mr p got bit by airy jane's busted teeth whoa it's a new name better questions are did chad push his brother is uncle steve his stepdad and should his stepdad get a medal for beating him and his mom? Davy Cakes, you don't seem to trust kindness, not just in this situation. How do your friends interact with you so that you trust them? What? I mean, Shuli's always been kind. What do you mean I don't trust kindness? You, you guys are insane. I'm friends with Shuli because he's never been anything but nice to me. And you guys go, wow, you don't see it? He's a snake. He's, you know, you're cucking it up. And then I go, hold on, Shuli lied about me and, and, and isn't taking it seriously. And then you go, wow, you can't trust anybody. What's wrong with you? So imagine if I put any stake into your psychological diagnoses. Uh, so thorough Joe Burry. Shuli is caught in a sticky trap and choosing to chew off his leg. Hey, go with Chris Abels. Get Chris Abels on again to explain Hootsuite to everybody. <laughs> you know, good choice. Good choice. <sighs> fucking retarded ricky garcia kb feverishly stroking it right now good job so thorough joe bro kb raisin bread is tasting extra sweet today i mean what is is man you you tried to fucking assassinate me you really did there's no other way to spin it there's no other way to fucking spin it out of nowhere you go and by the way melton doesn't support bob getting paid that was what we were talking about. Where'd that come from? How long have you been sitting on that? And again, I'd, I'd love for you to pull up one clip or one sentiment that echoes that, that Bob shouldn't be paid, fuck Bob, Team KB, gargling KB's balls. People say that I do that about you, Shuli. Everyone's fucking punch drunk. Everybody on Team Shuli is like, wow, he gargles KB's balls. Everybody on Team KB is like, wow, he gargles Shuli's balls. That's the sign of a good compromise. Everyone feeling like they got fucked over. That's the sign of someone who's in the goddamn middle. 
When both sides are like, wow, he's a shill for the other guy, that means I'm in the middle, you idiots. That means it's probably a gray area where everything is true that you've heard. Gargling MLC's nuts. Right, right. That's what he said. His cock and balls were in my mouth. Okay, Shuley. Okay. Man, if you put it in quotes, I guess it's true. That's what I told somebody on uh, Twitter the other day. That's what I told somebody on Twitter the other day. Uh, it's almost time for your quarterly MLC. I mean, no. Do you not have a calendar or what? And again, why would I? Why would I? For what? For what? For another skit? Speak your name, sir. And as you can see, this book is not ripped yet. I will be going in the yard later with my dog, Perry, and playing with this. What? Okay. So that's where we're at. That's how seriously Shuley takes it. And producer Joe. And again, I think today they got a thumbnail and they're like, Joe's going to get it. Oh, we're going to get that frog. Don't bother. Don't bother. I'm looking real forward to the sketch. You fucking hacks. <laughs> Ugh, I can't, I can't even imagine how gay it is. We're not going to watch it. I, I, I honestly don't care. There's not, I know that no matter what it is, they'll paint me as being crazy and emotional. I know exactly what they'll do. I already know. Whoa. Whoa. Melton's. Whoa. We didn't even know. Ah, oh, what did we do? Fuck you. Fuck you. There's one answer to this, Shuli. I lied. I tried to fuck over Melton. I tried to make Melton look bad. That's all there that's all there is, man. Say it or don't. We all know the truth. We know what you did. You tried to fucking assassinate my character out of nowhere, apropos of nothing. Unrelated. You tried to get me on a couple other things. There's no other excuse for it. You tried to make me look bad on purpose. Say you did it. Say you're sorry or shut the fuck up. I don't need a sketch. I don't need an email. I don't need you telling me I'm talented. I don't give a fuck. You, you are wrong about me. I, I mean, I'm, I'm broken. I, I don't let shit go. I, I accumulate and I observe all of it. You're also, I know everyone thinks like, wow, Melton's blind to shoot. No, I just don't turn on people instantly. You have to really fuck with me. And again, I'm not turning on Shuli. I'll never fucking speak of it again. We don't need to talk. We don't need to be friends. We don't need to be enemies. I, go your separate. I wish you the best. I really do. I think you've done a great job. I, what you've done after Stern, you're the most successful guy doing this. You created something. You're doing everything I've ever said about you. I, I still believe they are doing well. They are killing it. They do have fans. They have the potential there to do a funny show. They've lost it. Over two months, something's happened to that show. It's now just put on John clips, put on John clips, put on John clips. You already have shows where you do that. You don't need to do that in your morning show. It used to be fun. It used to be fun. It's it's lost the thread. So uh, 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 maybe you don't want honesty, but I don't, you know. It, it's fu it's gut wrenching, man. I I hate it. Vaping Dago. It's DefCon Five against Shuli and the Shuli Toe Network. You should go on replayables. I look again, and I said that about replayables. I'm like, say whatever you want about Shuli Network. They're trying to do um, different shows and content. And there's a version of that show that I think could be successful. Look, it is successful. Chris Abel's maybe buying views, but the show is also both things can be true. They have fun. They have people on there. They all have fun. The the, the chat room is having fun. They're making money, and it's a unique format that no one else is doing. All that is true. You may not like it, but the Shuli Network is doing shows, putting people, like, whatever. But now it's like six shows about Uncle, uh, you know, about Stuttering John and then Replayables. So this was never an attack on Chris Abels. I, I got no problem with Chris Abels. I, I would, I, I'm not saying I wouldn't have gone on Replayables. All this stuff could have happened. It's just like... 
It's all shit now. For what? For what? Because I didn't attack you and say you were buying views, but you had to go tell everybody that I don't return calls and lie. Pick a side. Okay. I picked one. I picked one. It's my side. It's my side. All right, everybody. BS show is live. Head on over. The Shuley Network. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. G that wouldn't even surprise me if that's really Joe. Uh, G Rob, $5. Crazy and emotional is super entertaining. I guess so. I guess so. Uh, JFK Head Chunk. You have a show about other shows. This is content for you. Why are you upset? I mean, if you don't know why I'm upset, do you need to go back and listen? Just say, just say in the chat, I'm retarded and I don't know why you're upset and I'll help you through it. Or say this is facetious. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's content. Do you think I wanted to really... Um, Go after somebody I had a I had a positive relationship with. Cause I didn't. That's why I'm upset. That's why I'm upset. Are you genuinely confused or you know? So Does that clear it up or? Yeah, it's because a guy that claims to like you and be on your side is making up shit about you. That's that's why I'm upset. You got it? Are we good? So good luck to uh, Shuley and company. Um, I won't dodge your calls. I won't. Just to be clear, we don't need to talk about it. Don't call me about this later. I don't want to have another... I do not want to have another conversation about this where you go like, well, buddy, I didn't mean to. We don't need to do that again. We did it. We talked on the phone Tuesday. Everything you said Tuesday got forgotten before Wednesday morning. And you thought it was more important to do your, your cute little sketches where, you'd never, where you don't really own up to anything. After, after hard trying to throw me under the bus. So take your little cute conversations and go fuck yourself. You can apologize and admit what you did, or we don't ever need to communicate again about friendship and whatever. I'm happy to help you guys with the store. Whatever you need, I'll be responsive. If you want to keep it with me, I don't know why you would. Again, I, I, I wouldn't want to be with a guy who doesn't answer calls and thinks Bob shouldn't be paid and is a liar. I wouldn't want my merch in that guy's store. So I'll happily help you transfer it all to another guy or... Set up your own thing or whatever it is. Gratis. I will help you do it however you want to get it done. Um, Pat, pivot and snipe. No, we're not going to stop. I, I, I don't even, like, again, what the fuck are they going to say? I know exactly what it's going to be. They're going to, like, all right, we're all going to, we've come up with a skit to punish producer Joe. I'm not interested. Uh, or, or it's going to be, uh, oh, fuck. What is Melton so upset about? What did we do? This guy's crazy. Hey, Patrick, this is really Bob, so I'm going to use my real AI voice here. I'm censoriously sorry about everything, Patrick. I will be distancing myself from these snakes. And you're right. You stuck up for me, and I stabbed you in the back and lied about you on the show. But it ends today on the BS show. No more deflection, skits, and sketches. Pure honesty from now on. I hope you can forgive me. Hey, t what letter are you going to go through in your phone today, Bob? Let's do the letter S. <laughs> I got a uh, Shuli, Rob Saul. Did you guys forget the question yet? I can't. I can't. Men talk to men, not between fans. Yeah, I look, we talked. We talked. That's why that's why this is so fucking duplicitous. We talked. I listened while you played dumb on the phone, Shuli. Whoa, what did I say? Did I say something crazy? Yes. Yes. I listened to you say you were sorry. I listened to you say you would make it right. And then I listened to you go on two different shows and not bring it up and not be honest about it and not be genuine. Again, there's only one answer here. 
You li- you tried to make me look bad by lying. That's it. That's it. It's not an accident. Watching it back, you knew exactly what you're doing. You know what I find funny? What? What's that? What surely find funny? Quick, make something up. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I wish you well. All right, we're going to do a little bit of Art Tard Thursday. Can we reset? Could we possibly reset here today? The bubble guts. The bubble guts. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. Wait, somebody's saying, Shuli's saying he doesn't know what he did to make you upset. I know, I know. It's so confusing. They're sending me a link now. It's so confusing. It's exactly what I said they would do. Come on and go, whoa, Melton's overreacting. Right, right. Exactly what I said they would do. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Uh, you rather lose Shuli than KB, be honest. I mean, I j- again, I can't. Whatever you think is going on, sure. <laughs> KB sends me a link every day too, idiot. Do I go on that? It's. I guess if you want, again, whatever you want to be true, I guess, you know. Fuck. You guys really are, like, tribal. It's so insane. Yeah, you're right. Me and me and uh, Kevin have been talking. Kevin treats me like shit. Kevin's not a good guy either. He treats me like shit. I don't want anything to do with any of it. Literally, this is me. Bye. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. But Ke- like, at least Kevin, like, just you know talk shit about me every day he's fat melton doesn't know what he's talking about it's like yeah 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 yeah. sure sure you know what kevin doesn't do treat me differently privately than he does publicly kevin's never come out and go oh melton he just made up a fucking lie like that you know what you did julie i don't have to explain it to you you know exactly what the fuck you did or you're retarded, and I don't want anything to do with you either way. You either know what you did and you won't take responsibility for it or you're fucking retarded. So which is it? Are you dumb as fuck or you're, clu- you know, you're clueless? I don't know what I did. Whoa! Whoa! He's explained it publicly and privately, but Whoa! Somebody said, you know what you're getting with KB. Right, right. I never thought KB was my friend. I, I've watched MLC. I knew I was what I was getting into. You never saw sour grapes over here about KB. I'm loving it. I love watching it every day, all the drama. I love being a fan again. No one's mad at KB. No one's mad at KB. And when I, you know, if KB and I ever go on a picnic and have a 4th of July card game, We'll both be looking across the table knowing we all know full well what we've said about each other and still there's an underlying respect. And again, there's an underlying respect for Shuli. You can't deny what the guy's done. He's pivoted. He created his own thing. He's one of those guys from the Stern universe who's done that. You know, in a world where Stuttering John thinks he's a celeb, Shuli's doing it better. Shuli's created something and he's doing it better. What is, is. I don't want anything to do with it. Julie tells me one thing to my face, and then publicly he goes and does a different thing. Kevin doesn't do that. Kevin talks shit to me in a text. Kevin talks shit to me on the phone. And Kevin talks shit to me on his show. It's exactly the same. It's consistent. And no one's also, you know, like, you know, entrusting Kevin with their, you know, private keys. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not invested in Kevin in any way. I'm not invested in Shuli in any way, but Shuli lies to my fucking face. 
Julie says different shit to me off the show than he says on the show. So what am I, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to believe? No, I think you're really great. I don't care. I, my self-esteem's not so low that I need your affirmations every day. So anyway, we'll be selling crystals in the store and uh, I deal with it, you know? How do you like them apples? <laughs> All right, we're going to watch, uh, I guess, Ray... who is uh, another one of these guys. I guess, you know, now I see it's all coming together over at the Shuley Network because Ray's full of shit, too. It's all coming together. Fucking Ray. I get a message this morning from Ari Jane. She's ready to, you know, hang herself from a chandelier. <laughs> like that Gloria girl in The Sopranos. I'm on season four, episode seven of The Sopranos. I've never watched it through. Don't tell me how it ends. Don't tell me how it ends. Does Meadow ever get her law degree? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Don't think I don't know. None of this, Matt. I, it, it is gay. Don't think I don't know. Um, but I'm but I'd be a bitch if I didn't sit here and acknowledge it. I I, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this, but I see it now. And when I went back and watched that show to, from Tuesday with when he does it, he knows exactly what he's doing. It comes out of nowhere. No one's even talking about anything like that. He just is trying to make me look bad. There's no other excuse for it. Whew. All right, I'll give you guys a choice. I'll give you guys a choice because you've had to put up with my bitching all morning. Number one for Ray and Ari Jane. And we have new unprecedented lies out of Ray today. And again, Ray has Rob Saul on yesterday to like, you know, I guess because, you know, Ray likes to get what's happening on his show, yet Ray doesn't like to be informed. I don't think they're buying views, dude. I, I don't think they're buying views. Oh, yeah, Ray, what do you know about it? Nothing. But I've drawn a definitive conclusion. I didn't even tell you the other thing yet. Everybody's saying one. I didn't even tell you the other thing yet. The other thing we could do, and I, and this goes against everything in my soul brain apparently joey c <laughs> uh all right we can look into joey c a little bit i won't even tell you what i have <laughs> number two for joey c and spider alomar and joey c's whore wife number one for ray number two for joey c and Joey sees whore, wife, dead daughter, and dead. <laughs> or number one for Ray and Ari Jane. <laughs> okay, now you want now you want to. <laughs> All right. All right. This got posted in our Discord yesterday. <laughs> Let me download this. Uh, Joey C. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. I can't even believe we have this. Joey C.'s house tour, apparently. <laughs> oh, fuck everybody. All right. All right. We're done with the drama today. We have a house tour from Joey C., which is everything you'd want it to be if you can imagine what joey c lives like then you're wrong you are incorrect it's way worse it's way fucking worse um all right i can zoom in on it like that right 
So I guess Joey C posted this video up. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. It's only two minutes long and then we have another Joey C thing. I'm so glad Melton's laughing now. Look, I, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, we're not going to be doing just so everybody knows. We're not going to be doing like making fun of Shuli and making fun of Bob. And I, I really am going to let it lie after this. There's, I, I'm not, I probably won't even cover whatever the fuck they're doing today or saying about this. We'll just move on. There's no point. There's no point. I already, I already know they'll never go. I already know Shuli will never go. I lied. I lied. I don't know. I felt backed into a corner. I, I felt hurt. I wanted to discredit anybody attacking our network survival and whatever it is you lied. It was intentional. And I don't know where the fuck it came from. I can't imagine the, the real motivation, but I know we'll never get to the bottom of it. It doesn't matter. So I'm sorry. I didn't pick a side and I'm sorry. I'm a liar. Here we go. And I'm sorry. I've ignored gifted memberships and super chats and all that shit today. It's just not, you know, to, it, it, it's not fun. This isn't great. Hit the like button. You idiots. Here we go. You get a Mexican. Oh yeah. By the way, if you can see, let me back that up. If you can see McDonald's golden arches in your, uh, from your house, it's never good. Oh, where did it go? Oh yeah. You hear this shit? I'm crazy. Oh, here comes, here comes all the hood rats and the bike. Here comes the hood rats and the bikes. So he's outside of some like plaza. There's golden arches in the distance. Again, if you can, if the glow of a McDonald's sign can keep you up at night, you're not in a good hood. Da, 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 da. People are screaming. You see stucco, some sort of firebox. So this sounds like government housing. You hear the clank of that door? Probably reminds him of prison. Nobody knows what the And look at this hallway. Dirty stairs. Safe as a motherfucker. Said nobody he says nobody even knows there's apartments up here. I'm safe as a motherfucker. No one knows there's apartments up here. Where is he? Where does he live? Above a nail salon? <laughs> like what? What's going on? No one even knows there's apartments up here. Safe as a motherfucker. Meanwhile, outside, people are screaming in the streets. Luca the Bind says uh, concrete stairs. Yeah, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Concrete stairs. Nobody even knows there's apartments up here. It doesn't look residential. He was saying it's a strip mall, some sort of institution. Yeah, it really is like a strip mall. I, th I think they live above like a uh, Circle K. All right. I'm home, sweet home. <sighs> home, sweet home. Where do you see this place? <sighs> Siri, how many people are gonna do this? Take you to my door and I'm live. live. Right. Well, it's hot in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I kissed my daughter. So framed pictures leaning up against the wall. Hello, Savvy. This carpet is, oh, Savvy. He says, I got to kiss my daughter, and it's this. Whoa, you do have an urn. You have a box here with her ashes in it. Savannah Marie Crum. What you, you have a nice box with a memorial plaque on it. What do you need my money for? We might have to put a dead picture of your daughter up again. I might put that memorial box on my wall. We we might get crazy with the wall. The fuck you got the air conditioner off for? Who got the fucking air conditioner off? 
Motherfucker, man. Look at this clutter. Where's Kevin's ass? Everybody's not there. So there's just a colored gentleman laying on the floor here, um, which is what you want in your house. Just a black man laying in one of the tiniest rooms you've ever seen. No, f fuck. That's his wall. That's the whole room. That's where he does his show. This is the whole fucking room. Look at it. Wall to wall. That's one wall, and then the other wall is where the green screen's up. It this, Look how thin this room is, like a bowling alley. No, fuck, man. Piled up with, like, double-deck cassette stereos. You know, who has a stereo that has cassettes and has, like, like a, it's got, like, a CD carousel? <laughs> All your grandma's furniture is here it's newport city yeah there's just a black guy laying on the ground like uh, i were all these black men just fucking out your dead daughter and then when she died they just hung around you know you got spider alomar and then this guy just a backwards cap laying on the floor just look at this dude it's like what's going on Amongst the sea of chairs, he's just laying on the ground. No fuck, man. Say hello to my peeps. Say hello to my peeps. And here we get our first crystal clear shot. Here we get our first uh, unbridled look at Joey C's place. I got a... Why can't I... It won't go bigger. So I got to do some zooms patented boom. the patented Melton zoom. <laughs> we have the lamp from the Sopranos here. I think <laughs> this is where they put the bug in it. I'm sorry. I'm all geeked out on the Sopranos now. Look at this, a juice box, one of these little caddies here's a lamp with no no shade on it it's just a bulb <laughs> oh god just garbage everywhere just clutter and garbage one of those dusty dell keyboards from jeff closers here what's in the drawers yeah just teeth I don't know, hair picks or something. Who knows? Who knows? And then you got this guy. He's just like, what the fuck? So we got, look, Swisher Sweets all over the ground. Holy shit. And a whole box of them. Like, this is what would be in the store. Like, the display box. And just Swisher Sweets all the fuck around. <laughs> Holy shit. Be more black. Be more black. The only thing that would make this picture more black is if this power strip was, this cord was running over to the neighbor's house. Because <laughs> they don't have electric. Holy fuck. So he's laying on the ground with a blanket. Again, this house is just, look at this. You can't even walk between this desk and this dresser or whatever, because there's just bins. It's like a hoarder home. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Look at everybody giving me attitude. I don't need attitude. I don't need attitude in this chat. You know, it's bad enough. Um, the men are named things like Spoon Snake, you know, and then half the women who give me shit in the chat... The women in our chat room are named, all their names sound like the, the noise queefs make, you know, like gah or tiff, <laughs> you know, just all sounds like noises your vag makes under pressure. <laughs> so don't give me shit about it. Look inward. Look inward. Look inward. <laughs> 
Holy shit. Okay, anyway, um, sorry about that. Uh, just laying on the ground, scissoring body pillows next to his Swisher Sweet collection. Here's an orange bin full of shit. Here's a blue bin full of shit. There's another bin back here full of shit. Here's bins all along the wall. Cables and cords and modems. You know. And also, oh, and Corn Diff's in Vegas. You know, Corn Diff, why are we not hanging out? Do you not want to meet your heroes? <laughs> People want us to collab. Corn Diff's running around Vegas posting pictures in my hometown on Twitter. He's going to the Hoover Dam. He's posting shit from the Neon Museum. He's out and about. He's clicking in my hood, you know? People want to see us do an ice cream challenge or some sort of scissoring, you know? But I guess then I'd see his face and... They say never meet your corn. Never meet your favorite corn. You know, Melton, some people have busy lives. Some people need a Morgan. Joey C saw me and wanted a little of that uh, Bahamian life in his own home. Someone's doing well. Yeah, that's a good point, too. That's a good point. This looks like addicted to Prophet's house. You know, at least Joey C has windows. At least Joey C has uh, doors and a lock. Addicted to Profits is just, um, you know, hanging out in the breeze, essentially. And then look at it. What is this under here? Just a plastic bag. Here's a CD tower. Holy shit. Look at that. A CD tower under the, uh, a CD, CD tower. It's CD. <sighs> um cables oh my god imagine imagine having a cd tower in 2023 and then imagine you don't even have enough cds to fill it you know i if some guy spent his entire youth collecting compact discs and has um like you know 4,000 CDs and they don't want to get rid of them because it's like it's such a collection and you want to display them and just keep them even though it's an anachronism even though you don't even listen to them anymore or whatever but you can't get rid of them you have so many CDs it's a, it's just a big cool collection okay display them he's got a CD tower and there's not even any CDs in it <laughs> just, uh, I just don't want to throw away the tower I, I don't even want to throw away the tower <laughs> It's got like four CDs at the bottom. Look at this. It's one, two, three, four, five. He has five CDs and he's like, we better keep the tower. <laughs> this guy's just on the phone on his on his floor. All right, here we go. What's up? What's up? What up, peeps? What's up, peeps? Oh, fuck it. Ten o'clock. Another room. And these these bedrooms are like dorm rooms. These bedrooms are like as small as dorm rooms. Really thin, narrow spaces. Tomorrow morning. Oh, it's tomorrow morning. Ten o'clock. Right. That's what the Bank of America. All right, all right. Remember? Oh, look at this wall. Government housing. Hello. Jesus. How fast are you taking these corners, clipping off paint? You know, this is at this is at shoulder height for Joey. Remember? Look at this wall. No, they couldn't. They said they had nothing today. They made it for tomorrow morning. Here we go again. This is uh, this is where Joey and Mrs. C sleep. A full size bed. A dresser full of uh, Sally Beauty Supply chemicals. All right. And, I'm back. and a floor full of, again, like, when was the last time you saw computer speakers like this? Nobody holds on to this stuff except white trash. It's like, what? You have a stereo with tape decks and CDs. 
and you got these little computer speakers. Your whole floor is cluttered up with garbage, just laundry baskets full of your belongings. Here, I got all my fucking computer shit here, man. I'm I got all my computer shit here, man. Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Whew, I pedal got emptied at another house. My buddy gave us everything that was left in the house, and it's all piled up in here now. We're going through it every day. We emptied an entire house into this room. <laughs> and it's all it's all piled up in here. We're gonna be going through it. Please do that live. Please do that live. Storage wars. Yeah, that's what it looks like in this bit. I got so much shit. It's almost all computer shit, man. He was an IT guy. Yeah, yeah, you got some cool. It's like the stuff Jeff Closer sends me. It's PS2 keyboards, a lot of serial modems. I'm home. I'm home, baby. I'm home. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Nobody's going to do this, though. Nobody's going to take you into the door, show you their neighborhood, show you the. See, I don't give a. F I mean, this looks like cops without the cops. <laughs> this looks like an episode of cops. Like if they're if they were scouting locations, like this will be perfect for a domestic violence episode. Fuck, cause I don't lie. I'll show you I'm a real motherfucker. And I love all you guys. You're real gross. I want you to really imagine how many roaches are crawling around this bitch in Tampa. We already know he lives above a Panera Bread or something. You know, you saw the front of it. He's in a strip mall. I'm the realest motherfucker out here. Yeah, no shame in my game. He's fucking winded still from the one flight of stairs. I'm out of breath, though, man. What we know. Fuck? We know. Whew, I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap, man. I got to get up and get ready for Uncle Rico show, man. I got to get up and get ready for the Uncle Rico show. It's another thing, you know. They Over the Shuley Network, they value him as a talent. They Chris Abels and Joey C. They picked their pe they've picked their sides. <laughs> they've picked their loyalties. Joey C and uh Chris Abels, who's definitely not lying about buying views. Ah, damn, I'm hot. You excuse me, I gotta bang on my boys. They probably have like a one window air conditioning unit in this entire apartment. Again, like, yeah, if I was your daughter, I'd be I'd want to fucking die too. I'd be like, please cremate me. It'll be cooler. Get me down to the morgue. Shove me in the oven. Your poor daughter. You know, and, and they have so many kids. This looks like a one bedroom. This looks like, you know, everybody piles into the bed like it's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And we're all sucking off Grandpa Joe. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Holy hat racks. No, 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 no. So they do have central air. <laughs> uh, it's not central. It's over on the right. But you get the idea. Is that an air vent? And then look at this. He just has, like, nails in the wall where he hangs his hats. They're all haphazard and uneven. The closet has no doors. It's not like uh, they're folded to the side. The closet has no door. Um, these are the uncle Rico show fan. Let's not do that. I really, I'm not after Shuli. I'm not trying to, it, it again. It's, I'm just disappointed, man. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. So that's what, uh, we got. That's what we got from the uh, Joey C house tour. And I wanted to go over here. I didn't know this. I guess Joey C's launched another channel on YouTube called Catalano TV. And he's given a show to, uh, yeah, look at this. This is what's great. Um, this is the, the, uh, thumbnail for the show today over there punish the frog 
Punish the frog. Oh, no. Producer Joe's going to get it big time. We've got a sketch. We got a skit we're going to do where Joe really gets it. Also, Chad couldn't get over 60 viewers on his football show yesterday. So that was fucking dope. <laughs> Just a reminder, I do have a special. My full special is up uh, for you to watch. Search Patrick Melton full special on YouTube. You'll find it. Uh, anyway, look, real quick, two plugs. Join the overdose, I guess, if you give a fuck, or the overdose light here. Tuesday night, I did a show again where I very objective, laying out the facts. You know, if I say that there's no proof Shuli's buying, buying viewers, everybody calls me a Shuli cuck. And then when I say um, Chris Abels is most likely definitely buying viewers, everybody's like, wow, what a KB cuck. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, that's right. That's right where I want to be. It's right where I want to be, where I have people in my chat room literally yelling that I'm too far on the other side. Perfect. Perfect. Pick something up in our store and show me which side you ah. <laughs> show me which side you're on, huh? The Nanner Puss stuff has been selling great. Uh pick up your Nanner Puss Warhol stuff. Pick up your corn cornhole puzzle, your Gotta mug, your Rot Pockets gear, your NLO logo stuff. We also have beanies and hats. It's all over there. Overdose members, of course, save 15% off all merch. But if not, just head over, buy yourself something nice, get something for your family, get something for your kids. Fuck. As if I care. I, I, I'm I'm so fucking over it today. It really it just sucks. It just sucks. Why? For what? For what? A guy who wasn't even attacking you, you had to go, like, make sure nobody believed him? Okay. It, it, fucking hell. It really is, like... I could just, I could just quit. I could just go today and let it be. But I want to laugh. I want to do funny stuff. So they got this channel called Catalano TV. And of course, Joey Z has bought 5,000 subscribers for it. Just like all his, his other channel, Joey Z Outfit Show. <laughs> so Joey Z goes and buys uh, followers. So it looks like he's popular. 4.57 thousand followers subscribers but of course on the videos you have 58 views 33 views 200 views 38 views 39 views 600 views when you go to live 31 views the morning show with lou and kai whoever that is so he's got a network joey c's got himself a little network over here and He's, he always sniped me the other night. But this one's the one I wanted to look at. The Al the Alpha Shot Lounge with Mr. Big Shot and the Alpha Female. Which is Miss which is uh Mrs. Catalano. So look, I, <laughs> these are two of the dumbest people on the internet. Joey C's wife, Christina, is literally, according to Joey C, I heard, this is alleged, but Joey C used to really get into prostitutes, and I guess that's how he met Christina. She's a literal whore <laughs> that he was fucking. Or she, like, fucks people for drugs and money, I guess. Mr. Big Shot, <laughs> who is a uh, semi-functional retarded kid, was drilling out her whore daughter before she OD'd on mescaline or whatever. So this this is called Mr. Big Shot and the Alpha Female. And again, tell me you've been to prison without telling me you've been to prison. Call women females like they're in the gorilla exhibit at your local zoo. Oh, look over there. It's a female. Right. Okay. Are you sexing her like a chicken? This one's female, guys. Guys who call women females are scumbags. Just mark my words on that. Dudes who call women females, it's gross. 
Yo, I'm sorry, man. I just like females. It's like, ugh. Ugh. Spider Alomar dated the daughter who stabbed them, not the daughter who died. Okay, my bad. So Spider Alomar dated their other daughter who stabbed them. They also have a son who just got arrested for something. It's a family full of fucking criminals and and drug addicts and whores. And then they hang out with this fucking idiot kid. This idiot kid. Um, Spider Alomar is just a junkie their daughter used to fuck before she went on a stabbing spree. And this guy talks retarded. He can't grow facial hair. But he wears sunglasses and tells you like it is. <laughs> Watch this. You couldn't make this up if you tried. This is their show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mr. Big Shot Show and the Alpha Female Show. You hear it in the voice. First of all, their intro constantly loops. Every one of their shows they do. The intro will loop three times like they don't know how to control it. But do you hear the confidence in this young man's voice? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Big Shot Show and the Alpha Female Show. And he's got like six hairs on his beard. He grows little patches of hair, like one here. And it it's disturbing, his facial hair. Like. He cannot grow facial hair. Guys who can in, uh, grow facial hair but but refuse to not do it. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Mr. Big Shot Show and Alpha Female Show. And again, like, both of these people are dumb as fuck. Like, Christina C. is dumb as shit. You know, Joey's dumb, but Christina is dumber than actual dirt. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And look at her. I mean, this is what white trash does. It's like such a 90s thing to think this thick, gross mat of hair. I mean, you can tell this probably goes down to her, you know, labia minora. So it looks like she has way more curtains down there than you'd think. But, like, look at all this hair. It's gross. It's gross. This is not what good good her looks like. It's, I mean, this is a gross mat of a nutrient nest. You know what I mean? It's. Welcome to the Mr. Big Shot Show and the Alpha Female Show. It starts over. Good evening. Good evening. Watch him do this 30 times. Oh, I only have one motion. This is the only limb I have that's articulated. So I'll just keep doing this because this means I'm a host. This means I'm a, a badass who knows what I'm talking about. Watch how many times. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mr. Big Shot Show. He's out of breath, just like Joey. Huh? Huh? to the and the alpha female show we have something very in store for y'all tonight we have something very in store for y'all tonight <laughs> we have something very in store for you tonight until then until then isn't it now hold on isn't it now We have something very in store for you tonight, but until then, it's like, isn't that now? 
hit the like and describe button. The like and describe button. I like people who say button. Hit the button. If you'd like to donate, the cash app, and PayPal to the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Remember, these people can't afford a resting place for their daughter, but they will buy drugs and they will let strange black men lounge around their house with Swisher Sweets in a Costco. It looked like a Crave case of Swisher Sweets. <laughs> Dead air. He's doing sign language. How about now? Good. All right. How was your day? My day was lovely. I mean, these people have the energy of 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 swamp grass. Oh, okay. How was your day? This is how we're starting a show? Oh, okay. How was your day? <laughs> okay. Lovely, Good. lovely. Yeah, I hear the weather up there is getting... uh. Nice. You're already on weather. I heard it's getting nice. This is great. You're doing great. Yes, getting cold. It's getting worse down here. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about that. Dude, tomorrow's going to be like 90 degrees. No! Well, 92, I wish, as a matter of fact. I wish the highest we're going to get tomorrow is probably 70. But That's towards beautiful. evening time, it's going to get down cold. That's so nice, though, bro. Yeah. So nice. When do you guys start getting snow up there? I'm going to tell you right now, we haven't really have had too much snow here. Please tell me right now. Please tell me right now. Usually we don't really get snow until, like, January or close to February. Really? Yeah. That's awkward. <laughs> Why? Why is it awkward? Hello, everybody in the chat. Nick and um, Joey C. <laughs> Nick and your husband in the other room. And by the way, you know, they all love to use this basic bitch uh, background with the piano. And the. it's like, we just saw your home. We just saw your home, Christina. It's like, it's a trap house. Not because you sell drugs, but because if you walked in there, you'd probably get trapped. County Branch? <laughs> this is some kind of joke, I guess. It's joke night yeah. on the chat yard. Now, to be calling out this chat is ridiculous because look at the chat. I mean, here's the chat. Hi to everybody in the chat. It's like, that's... But it's okay. <laughs> the chat stream. Do you see that shit yeah. with DG and... Uh, um? Who was it? Shuli and KB today? Nah. 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 This is going great. No. You gotta go back and, and watch that. Yeah. When he comes on, I'm gonna talk to him. You gotta go back and watch that. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh, do you wanna see the um the logo that you that you sent? Yeah. Alright, so Yeah. Do you wanna see the logo that you sent? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I figured this out, okay? It's the only way that I could do it, all right? So hold on. How about that? That's neat. That's neat. Neat. All right. I tried it. I tried it. Mm -hmm. I was going to just send it to DG and see if... Look at his fucking facial hair. I'm sorry. Like, imagine leaving the house like this. You you grew a little tuft here. You can grow a little on this corner and on this corner. <laughs> like, have you ever seen a guy attempt to have a beard more? Like, what a fucked up kid. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, shave your face. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Why would you come out like this? 
Yo, snaggle tough. <laughs> if he would do it, but you know, it's already yep. everybody's seen it. So explain what that is. Yeah, explain what the logo is. That is the team logo. That's what's going to be on the hats. I'm thinking the uniforms as well. No, don't put the logo on the uniforms. Just put it on the hat. We we have no idea what team what we have no idea what they're talking about. That's the team logo. Uh for what? For the what what is it? The, the little baseball league team. Or, the okay. baseball team. No, for the baseball team. Oh, okay, that answers it. Major, minor, independent. No, major. It's major. The Hepburn box cars or whatever it was. Independent. It's, uh, independent. It's independent. It's okay. So was the That's okay. You're still doing great. You're doing great. The Schomburg Boomers. The, yeah. the Schomburg Boomers. Uh Schomburg's a Illinois suburb. Is he in Chicago? Remember? Yeah. yeah. This is the first um actually the first clubhouse I was ever ever in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is she so hunched over? You know, is it because she's so used to being bent over by dudes all day that she that's her permanent like, uh, uh, and she's used to bringing her long hair around front so that her ass is clear and that crossword puzzle tattoo on her tramp stamp can be filled out by guys. That's how boring she is. Guys, guys want to do a, a word search. She has a word search tramp stamp, and you bring a an, a, an a, a washable marker, and you can sit there and find words while you bang her from behind because you're going to take a long time to come, especially if she's talking. It'd be gross. But yeah. it's pretty neat. Pretty it's neat. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, but anyways, yeah, so it's hot as hell down here, bro. It's just the... Yeah, bro. I cannot get over this humidity. Why? You live in Florida. I wish I could say the same here. It's cold. My hands is freezing. Yeah, spider. Tell it like it is, motherfucker. Are you feeling better? A little bit better than what I was. I'll tell yeah. you what, you can tell everything. You can tell by how good I look today. Again, when he gets close and grins, you can really see how patchy. Look at how patchy this motherfucker is. It's like one of those woolly, willy, uh, magnetized things you had when you were a kid where you dropped the, the hair on them to make, make facial hair, but you ran out of little magnetized iron pieces. Yeah, you just can't wear your earmuffs yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> nope. yeah. Maybe next week. Yeah. 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 You'll be yeah. on with, uh, I think Joe tomorrow, right? Yeah. I think Joe does his own his own he thing. He does tomorrow. his pr the prison podcast tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah, yeah. He's got a pretty cool guy coming on tomorrow. So the Shuli Network takes takes uh, Joe Joey C very seriously and has him on as a guest. <laughs> like, yeah, cool. His prison podcast. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. Or I'll be in the chat. Oh, no, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, he's got a he's got a cool dude. He did like I think it was tw this guy done twelve years in Pennsylvania. He done him. Well, yeah. Right on. Yeah. yeah he said it was a shithole, major shithole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's bad, yeah. but I'm not gonna spill all the secrets. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So hold on, I think somebody's. No, oh, no. That's not. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Somebody just sent me the article. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Somebody sent me the article of Joey C's daughter stabbing him. Holy shit. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've never seen this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no 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 hold on how do i go back fuck um
<laughs> oh no. Daughter stabs father and his girlfriend. Oh no. Hernando County deputies responded to an early morning stabbing Tuesday in Brooksville. Upon arrival at the home of Estates Avenue, deputies found three people with stab wounds. It appears Heather Catalano got into a fight with her father, Joseph Catalano, and his girlfriend, Christina Owen, at 4 a.m. on April 26. 4 a.m. Tell me this ain't about meth. The fight escalated and Heather began stabbing her father and his girlfriend. Got him. When deputies arrived, all three victims were treated on scene. Hold on. She then stabbed herself. Christina Owen was able to run from the scene to a neighbor's house to call for help. What the fuck? The three victims were treated on scene and then airlifted to a trauma center. Christina Owen is in critical condition while Joseph and Heather Catalano are in stable condition. Once Heather has been medically cleared, she'll be placed under arrest. Holy shit. She was just messing around. <laughs> hey, I'm just messing around. 4 a.m. Stab, stab, stab. So let's just get this straight. You two are our parents of the year. Joey C has a son who went missing and apparently has been arrested. Joey C has a daughter who stabbed him, herself, and his girlfriend and put him in critical condition. Christina has a daughter who also got tangled up in the in the CD world of being a fuck slut and getting you know reamed out by druggies as well and is now dead in a box on the counter while they all currently live above an abandoned blockbuster video okay <laughs> Okay. I mean, you guys are batting a thousand. And then what? You have the the son or you, you have the boyfriend of the girl who stabbed all of you to do a podcast. You, 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 your girl is a tough bitch who stabbed everybody, but the guy she was dating has peach fuzz. I mean, it looks like this guy glued my pubes to his face when I was 12. These are like you know, just little, little whiffs of hair for a boy. <laughs> Spider Alamar. Can you imagine? Spider Alamar Tard, am I right? Got him. Oh, no. Out there, just vibrating the little door ding dong thing. You know what I'm talking about? The little mm -hmm. blink. So. Melton is human garbage. Oh, la, oh tiny said. La. I just get brought up <laughs> apropos of nothing on this show. Melton is human garbage. Right. My have soft spot. Right. Pull up all my stabbings and overdose records, please. I'll wait. Pull up that time I went to prison for stabbing my dad. Better rules. C is for casualties. Respect to Missy and Big Shot. Thank you, Joey C. C. Crew. <laughs> Great intro. Greatest intro yet. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. We're trying, guys. We're trying. All these guys have shows and don't know what the show is. You know what I mean? They're, they all have shows, but nobody's quite sure what the show is. Trying, you know. <laughs> yeah. So... I mean, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm over the Melton thing for real. Like, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I'm over it too. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking deep, spider. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over it too. That's why we're bringing it up. What Melton thing? Yep. Fuck it, like, dude, like, if you if you want to lower yourself to those standards, like, and talk shit about somebody's child, like, lower yourself to your standards, talk shit about somebody's child. <laughs> you, all your kids are in prison or dead. 
All your kids are in jail or dead. Who fucked up? Me? Stoop? If you want to stoop to that level. What level? What level? If you want to talk to your daughter, you got to go see a priest or a visitation man. (laughs) You know what I mean? Everybody you know is in prison. Everybody you know is dead. You suck as a mother. You were apparently a whore. Your daughter was also following in your footsteps. She was a drug whore. This guy thinks it's funny that his girlfriend stabbed you all and you had to be airlifted to a hospital. It's a fucking disaster over there. You live, you live in a cement brick apartment, uh, uh, in a strip mall. Nobody even knows there's apartments up here. It's so safe. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. That's cool. It's like, you you might as well live in, in those abandoned Chernobyl uh, high rises that are just concrete block and clutter everywhere. I mean, imagine walking in your house and there's just patrons laying around. That, by all means, yeah, have yourself a field. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. They, I guess, you know. So I'm. I'm over it i don't need to read no more negativity about it you know yeah how's your mom (laughs) a lot of these people are confused about what what should be private phone calls and what should be a podcast how's the weather how's your mom you still there yeah i'm here so you're just ignoring her no more negativity about it you know, watch him not answer and just stare. How's your mom? You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, because like you're talking and you were like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <Hold> up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're like frozen. Oh my god, I hope that'll never really happen. Too. Much. Oh my god, I hope that'll never really happen. <laughs> yeah. Much to me because. Or if my face gets like stuck in one of those ugly faces, bro, that's gonna be fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, my wife a shit hey. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I pay a lot. Of, I pay a lot of money. My wife is crappy. I pay a lot of money. My wife is crappy. I pay a lot of money. My wife is crappy. I guarantee he's on a twenty nine ninety nine plan. There's also like this disease that idiots have where they think internet is Wi Fi. Kevin does this all the time. Your Wi-Fi is bad. Your Wi-Fi is bad. It's like, I mean, do you guys think internet access is (sighs) Wi-Fi? How do you know the Wi-Fi is bad? Maybe the Wi-Fi is fine. Maybe the internet signal's not good. Maybe maybe, Maybe the actual internet is bad. The connection to the internet is not necessarily Wi-Fi. Everybody just thinks Wi-Fi is internet. I got to get on the Wi-Fi. I got to check Facebook on the Wi-Fi. Let me get on your Wi-Fi to check Facebook. (laughs) Idiots, it's synonymous. Wi-Fi and internet are the same thing to dummies. Dude, we upgraded to like the... um... To like the most expensive Wi-Fi package that Cox has to offer. You know? I called Charter and got the best Wi-Fi they have. We call it Spectrum, and we're on the highest Wi-Fi package. <laughs> the Spectrum, the highest. <gasps> They're really going to say it. I, I was kidding. I hadn't seen this. This is funny. Whatever it is, and it's still shitty, bro. Still I shitty. got the I got the highest of everything. Yep. I don't believe any of you. I don't believe you. I got the, uh, I got the gigabytes. Yeah, it's the um the, is- I got the gigabytes. I got the gigabytes. I got the bubble guy. I got the gigabytes. The upload or the I got the gigabytes downloading the porn. The gigabytes. Bam bam. The gigabytes. Bam bam bam. The gigabytes. It never worked. Download speeds that what's his name said that we had to. Well, we kind of were off on both. 
No. So Joey's literally just, Joey's probably laying on the floor next to the desk. <laughs> no, 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 but what, what we're supposed to have, like 20 up? 20 up, I think it's 20 up, 300 down. It was 20 up, 300 down. It's not the top package anywhere. I don't know. Maybe if you have uh, Hughes satellite internet. I'm not a computer or, or tech savvy. So. <laughs> no. Come on. You're savvy. So it's either 20 up or down and 300. We got 500. We got 500. 530. Yeah. So we got 500 down. <laughs> Imagine not, uh, doing this and you don't know what any of it means. Three thirty up. Yeah. So five. Joey's uh he's around Barry. Yeah. Hi, Doctor Chow. Yeah, hello, Doctor Chow. But I'm a, not a king. <laughs> yeah. King. I mean, but thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Juan here is. His name's Juan. <laughs> Holy shit. Mr. Big Shot. Mr. Big Shot. Are you hardwired or using Wi-Fi? His girlfriend's name was Mrs. Big Stab. Well, I'm hardwired, Kip. I think, aren't I? You got, you ran the... I, I didn't do anything less. I'm hardwired. Joey's like, no, you're not. You didn't run the... I didn't do anything less. <laughs> what are they talking about? Aren't I? You got you ran the. I didn't do anything less. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hardwired, Kip. Hardwired. Yeah, I'm directly into the box. <laughs> so is your daughter. Directly yeah. into the, the box. She's directly into the box. That's where the coroner put her. Directly into the box. And in a way, she's wireless, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Joey probably dropping mad deuces on the toilet. Mm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fuck? That cracked Spider Alamar up. <laughs> he goes, he goes, oh, ha, 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 big poops. He said, get a big poop. <laughs> Watch how hard he laughs at that. Directly into the, the box. Joey probably dropping mad deuces on the toilet. And watch, watch how hard Spider laughs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fuck? Like, I mean, like, why would, like, like. <laughs> like, like yeah, so Monday morning is the, uh, Lou and Kai joined the Joey C outfit or the Joey C network. Okay. No, outfit, outfit. And yeah. so Monday they are going to be on. And um, 7.40 Monday. 7.40, 740 a.m. Monday morning with Lou and Kai. So be there to watch it. Who? Who and why? <laughs> Monday mornings with who and why? They are so funny, bro. They are hilarious. Well, now we're going to have to check out Lou and Kai because I bet they're a hoot. How is uh, HW? Mm, yes. Thank you, Kip. Yes. Hardwire is what you need. Good. Yes, it is. It's a lot better. It's like, I mean, it's not so bad. You know what I mean? Like Joe's hardwired and so am I. So it's like, you know, it's not bad. Great. Great tech support. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it, it works a lot better than Wi-Fi. So what you should do, Juan, you should get like um that cable, that Ethernet cable, and plug it into your box and plug it into your computer, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe yeah. It's like if, like, <laughs> he said it. Yeah. Your box and plug it into your computer, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like if, I guess. Yeah. It's weird. What did he? Eat? Oh. Ay ay ay! You guys are disgusting in that chat sometimes. <laughs> What did I love when people read the chat, don't tell us what they're saying, but then react to it. What did you, uh, you guys are gross. That's the sickest thing. And then they'll talk about it forever, but you have no idea what they're talking about. I don't know. Three cheeseburgers, two fries, and a milkshake. 
I can imagine that'd make somebody go with shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going to upgrade my cell phone. Oh, I just did, dude. I, but you know what? I I'm going to upgrade. No, I'm, I'm going to get. I'm going to upgrade to monster to fifteen. I'm go. I'm great. I'm a great. I'm a great. I'm a great. 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 No. Mm-mm. No. Joey he just keeps talking to her. I mean, this is a nightmare. Juan's upgrading his cell phone. I think I'm gonna upgrade too. I should. That's what I should have got, bro. But I paid off my uh, watch, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna upgrade my watch first. To the- I'm gonna take off my watch, but my watch first. Yeah. Serious nine. What do you got right now? I have the Serious Six. Let me see it. Oh, okay, here. <laughs> yes. He doesn't even wear it. He puts on a blazer for this every day, too. He puts on a blazer. Six. Okay. Those are interesting, bro. Can't you read your yeah, text messages she... and stuff? Those are interesting, bro. Can't you read your text messages and stuff on that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the ser- the Serious 9 right now, you put the watch on right here, and it's got something now you do to... Your fingers. But huh. Yeah. Yo, bro, you, you, you something like this, you do this. I'm going to get it because uh, you can do like this and something happens. I don't even know why, bro, but I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bear, bear. Yeah. He said he's still on his third Obama yeah. phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Mr. Mountain. This is this is Spider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't don't talk shit about my female friends. Or my females gonna stab you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna punch out now. How, how's your mom? How, real quick. How's your mom? Are are you still there? I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm just not gonna answer that. Y- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is their show. That is the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the new one because you can do something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this um gentleman. In the chat says, Mr. Big Shot, tell us about your rise to the top. Your rise to the top, sir. Rise to the top. Mm -hmm. Because you sure are shining, boy. Hey. You are. All this stuff I got when I was working over at Amazon. (laughs) That's where I was rolling the money. But That's right. (laughs) When he worked at Amazon. You know, he was like a distribution center guy. You know, he he liked to help package stuff to send out to people and he's like that's back when i was making 17 dollars an hour <laughs> yeah that's when i was i was rolling in it i spent every dollar on the series six not there yeah Under technicality <laughs> yeah oh ross dogs broken spears who are these nobodies where's joey c oh we're sorry you think we're nobodies i mean obviously <laughs> hmm it's your opinion. Obviously, hmm. hmm. It's your opinion. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Bezos bucks. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know. A lot of bodies on that rise. Mm hmm. A lot of lip on, or a lot of mouth on those lips. This is fucking awful. <laughs> Get that one. Me, you know what? Let me tell you a story, man. Oh, the boy. The day I started working over there, I said, hold on. Y'all got to trim me real good on this forklift because I ain't going to crash. Let me tell you a story about when I started over there. I said, hold on. Y'all better treat me real good on this forklift because I'm not going to crash. Let me say it in English. Let me tell you a story about when I started working at Amazon. 
I said, y'all better treat me good on this forklift because I'm not going to crash. What? What? Tell it again. We love that one. Lips. Day I started working. Get that one. Me, you know what? Let me tell you a story, man. The first day I started working over there, mm -hmm. I said, hold on. Y'all got to treat me real good on this forklift because I ain't going to crash no, on the stand up. Right. So I crashed. And in my first week there, I met a boo boo. And then he crashed. <laughs> That's what's funny. It's like, I told her when I got hired to be an accountant, I said, y'all better treat me real good at being an accountant because I'm going to do these numbers just right. And then I didn't do the numbers just right. I made so many mistakes adding the numbers up. <laughs> yeah. And then I got a job. And then I got a job at McDonald's uh, making the french fries. And I was like, y'all better treat me real good at making the french fries because I'm not going to burn my hand in the grease. <laughs> and then two days later, I burned my whole hand in the grease. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, made a mistake. And then I got fired. And I got, I got hired at a job. I got hired at a job where they, I, w I was working the register. And I told them, y'all better treat me real good. I work at the register because I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be stealing out of this register. And then I, but I did steal out of the register. <laughs> I made a mistake. Yeah. And then I got hired at the post office and I said, y'all better treat me real good selling these stamps. Cause I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be giving, uh, doing these stamps. And then, and then I got caught smoky crack in the break room. I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. When I got a job at Amazon, I told them, y'all better treat me real good on this forklift because I'm not going to crash. Let me just tell you, if I was a hiring supervisor at Amazon and a guy came into work right away and said, you better treat me real good on this forklift because I'm not going to crash. I'd be like, well, you're off the forklift. I mean, I, that's the weirdest thing anyone's ever said to me. I've never had a driver come to me and say, I'm not going to crash. And then immediately crash. It's, the, it's a first here. It's a first here. You're ruining our days without incident poster. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting him to go, and then I crashed. <laughs> I told him, y'all better be good to me. I ain't going to crash. And then I crashed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I crashed. And then I crashed. <laughs> so I, so let me I tell you a story, man. The first day I... <laughs> let me tell you a story. Get that one. Me, you know what? Let me tell you a story, man. The first day I started working over there, mm -hmm. I said, hold on. Y'all got to trim me real good on this forklift because I ain't going to... He wagged his finger and said, hold on. My first day, I clocked in. I gathered everybody around. I said, hold on. Y'all better treat me real good on this floor, Leah. I ain't going to crash. And then I crash. <laughs> Y'all better treat me real good on the forklift. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? I said, hold on. Y'all got to treat me real good on this forklift because I ain't going to crash. No, on the stand up. Right. So I crashed. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> and in my first week there, I met a boo boo. What's I lift the thing up too high, and the trailer went through the roof. I lift the thing up too high, and the trailer went through the roof. I lift the thing up too high, and the trailer went through the roof. And they called me into the office, and I was like, I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't fucking do this. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. I'm done. Oh my lord! How long did you I work got, there for after that? I still kept my job. They just kicked me off the machine for a week and piss tested me. They kicked me off the machine for a week and piss tested me. Imagine him piss testing, and they come back the next day like Spider Key. Sit down. We have some horrible news, and he like I am not on drugs. 
And they're like, no, 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 no. You are missing the chromosomes necessary to be a human. And we just wanted to know if you knew about that. Oh, That's, my go Lord. Go back are to training s- again. I went back to training again. And they told me, you better not get in no accidents on the forklift. We will treat you real good. <laughs> yeah. I oh said, my bro, God. my bad. Bro, my bad. You know, I told him my bad. Why are you firing me? I said my bad. I think I was going too high. I was trying to get the thing off there and raise it too high. <laughs> Imagine that being your, your explanation to your boss, too. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? You went through the roof. He's like, I didn't think it was that high. I was trying to lift it up, but I, did, I didn't mean to go through the roof, but it was higher than I thought. I didn't mean to do it that high, but it went that high. It went way higher than I meant to be due. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's his excuse. I didn't mean to, but then it did. <laughs> I thought it was lower, but it was higher. <laughs> I didn't mean to. So I go back to Twain and <laughs> like, that's your excuse. When your boss is like, what happened? Not like, oh, I had a muscle, muscle spasm and jerked the lever or like, you know, I miscalculated. No, I thought it wasn't so high, but then it was. <laughs> I didn't mean to put the hole in the roof, but then I did. I didn't mean to. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I got to hear it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so good. I worked there for after that. I still kept my job. They just kicked me off the machine for a week and piss tested me. Oh yes. my Go lord! Go back to training s- again. <laughs> they piss tested me. Which one of these is piss? <laughs> they hold up a bag of shit and a bag of piss, and they're like, "Which one's piss?" And he's like, "Uh, the liquid one." All right, back on the machine. <laughs> I oh said, my "Bro, my- I said, bro, my bad. I didn't mean to put the hole in the roof, but I did." Bad. I didn't think I was going too high. I was trying to get the thing off there and raise it too high. Nice. I didn't think I was too high. I was trying to get the thing up there, but then I raised it too high. <laughs> well, mistake. Okay. Uh, said, everyone makes mistakes, they said. you damn right they do. You, you will never learn if you don't make mistakes. Mm-hmm, that's what they said. That's what they said. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I said, I ain't doing that no more. I said, I won't do that no more. I said, you better treat me real good. I went in there the third day, and I said, you better treat me real good. I won't put no more holes in the ceiling. And then I did. Yeah. Well, that's good, buddy. <laughs> Where, so you, are you going to go work at the new yeah. field? Or the new uh, clubhouse I'm over still, there? I'm still waiting to hear back. Yeah, it takes a little bit. They still building it. I'm probably gonna, it's probably going to be a minute for. Would you apply for not, not, It probably won't. I probably won't hear nothing until at least, what, I'm saying maybe February. You think? Yeah. Or, yeah. Sometimes maybe earlier than that because they're still doing up. They're getting a lot up, though. Yeah. 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 I want to look yeah. it up. What? It's, uh, the field. See what it looks like right now. They got a lot of feed. Go, you can push in the, on Facebook. You can, this guy. Like- What's wrong with this guy? I, I like like the the lack of confidence makes his voice shit. He 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 can look at uh Facebook. He 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 can do, he can do search search on Facebook. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I want to be in Christina's butt. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Fucking retarded. You're fucking retarded. Oh God. You you can pull you can get pull up a feed. A feed. Go. You can push in there. You can push in there. Yeah. Yeah. I want to look it up. What? It's, uh, the field. See what it looks like right now. They got a lot of feed. 
Go on. You can push in there. <laughs> the guy I feel you put, you put in the heart. On Facebook, you just got a lot of feet. Go look up the Hagerstown Flying Box Car. They got a site. Hold on, I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna diagram you. He says the fly, the flying, flying box cars. Box cars. Oh, Hagerstown Flying Box Cars. The Hagerstown Flying Box Cars. So this is the logo he's obsessed with. He's trying to get a job there. He says maybe they'll call him February. It's fucking September. So I don't know what this optimism is. But he's excited about maybe getting a job in six months. But they got a site. A 24-hour feed you can watch. Okay. I'm going to and pull you up. That's where you know where to go at. They have a 24-hour feed you can watch. You just have to pull it up. That's how you know where to go at. It's a real sentence a man just said. A 24-hour feed you can watch. Okay. I'm going to and pull you up. That's where you know where to go at. That's where you know to go at. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hold on one second, Juan. I gotta grab my. All right. Hold on one second, okay? Hold on one second, Juan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're waiting. Big shot can't talk. Dead air. Nothing. DG will be here soon. Got you. So when you go on there, you scroll down. You just go on there and scroll down. I mean, these guys don't know how to talk. Go on where and do what? For the what now? Yeah. Go to right here. You just go to right here. Just go to right here. And click this one. And click this. The blank one? You go on there, you scroll down, you go to right here, and you click this. That that Those are real instructions he just gave to get to something. You go on there, you scroll down, you go to right here, and you click on this. Nailed it. Yeah, the blank, yeah. blank one. It'll show you everything. Yeah. All right. Just click on, uh, let's just say live feed. Hold on, I'm gonna click. Hold on. Go right now, let you know. All right. He's making Ray look like employee of the month. Yeah, view live feed. No, he makes Ray look like a uh, ro rocket scientist. Spider must be the employee of the month. I did that mean to put the forklift through the ceiling, but then I did. <laughs> yeah. And that's where you go on. All right. And that's where you go on. So, crystal clear. Right, let's see. It's, it's dark. And why does she have to do this right now? She wants to see what the field looks like right now, live. Again, head down, hunched over. You sent but, it to me? No, I didn't send it to you. The link. <laughs> no, I didn't send it to you. I mean, these are the dumbest folks on the net. 100%. 100%. Hello. Hey, Patrick. It's Citizen M. This guy sounds like a sissy. <laughs> Thank you, Citizen M. That makes it, you. That's a great point. This guy does sound like a sissy. Okay. Right, I feel I'll you look it up on there. Yeah. 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 So, one, um, what is uh, what is the um, what's Hagerstown known for? <sighs> Don't ask me this. Don't ask me anything. A lot of history here. Let's put it that way. For sure. Yeah. Both show. Hey, Shuli, what does Auschwitz stand for? <laughs> Don't ask me that. Okay. A lot of... Oh, hold on. You, shut up. Shut up. Oh, no. Shut up. <laughs> My Apple assistant with the S word thought I was talking to it. Hey, what's up with Hagerstown? And they're like, he's like, huh, don't ask me that. A lot of history. Let's just say that. It's like, I mean, well, that means nothing. <laughs> you know. Aw. Aw. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what do I type in one? We're at the point. 
she's only at the point of what do I type in? Let, 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 let's just, she has the logo. It's her, it's on her thing. The Hagerstown flying box cars. Go on their Facebook, bring up the thing, scroll down to the thing, find the this one, and then click on that thing. I mean, it was crystal fucking clear. She's literally been doing it for 10 minutes, and here's where she's at. What do I type now? It's like, what have you been doing for 13 minutes? Just unlocking your phone? <laughs> uh, Hagerstown flying box cars. Okay, Hagerstown. Yeah, I can't wait till DG comes on, too. I can't wait to talk to him. <laughs> so she's already off on something else. It's like, focus! No wonder your fucking kid's dead. Probably got crib death because you just neglected her. Yeah. 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 I'm going to talk to him. Box cars, okay? So, did they, are they, so they just made a whole new stadium for this for this team? They're building a whole new stadium. They tore down the old one. Damn. No Damn. more, no more that raggedy old ballpark. All right. Damn. Hey, your sound flying going. box cars. Well, here's what I got. I got a <laughs> bunch of flying cars and more flying cars. Hagerstown, Washington County car sales. I mean, no, it should. I mean, it should have came up Hagerstown flying box cars under on our Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, no. You all picked your thing, guys. You'll never. I mean, you can sit there and spaz out all you want. No one will ever control what we do right now. When I ask you what we want to do, you pick it. So I do, I do see 17 people in the chat going like, move on. You should do this, do this. It'll never, that'll, that's not how this show works. So save your breath. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'll look it up later. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm going to look at that emblem real quick again. Hold on a second, because that looks like. I want to look at that emblem again. Like, um, what's that plane from that movie, that little movie? Hold on. It's, um. I like when he leans into the screen so we can see his fucked up teeth. What does that look like? That's that. What's that little show called? What's that little show called? <laughs> can't even freaking think about it. I can't even think about it. I mean, let's make a list of what you can think about, Christina C. Your dead daughter, your old ho days, your stupid husband. <laughs> We we've seen how long it takes you to try to look something up on the net. Man, I don't know either. You, you, I don't know shit. God damn, we dumb as fuck. You know what I'm talking about though? Yeah. Yeah, I do know what you're talking about. Only I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I do. I do. I do. But I don't. I know, but I ain't. But I do, but I can't. Um, shit. I don't. Damn. Ah, uh, my brain hurt. My brain hurt. I cannot remember. Fuck. It was like a like a. Uh, it was an older movie. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it? It's like a little. It's not. A, I don't think it was. It wasn't a cartoon, but it was like Red Baron. Imagine if you couldn't remember whether something is a cartoon or not. <laughs> Remember Toy Story? Uh, I can't remember if it was a cartoon or not. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just did it. I mean, this guy is nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was a Red Baron. <laughs> Mr. Big Shot, did Sugar Ray Leonard visit your village about 10 months before you were born? <laughs> My Mr. No. Buck. Spider's family came over on that other ship. That's not nice, bro. Like uh, Spider's family came in on the ship. I wanted to accuse no. Josie of stealing Gary Wood's batting gloves. Okay. I was incarcerated in Hagerstown. All right. All right, Ross. So tell us how it was for you. <laughs> yeah. You want us to ask you what everybody asks us? No. Yeah. I, I ain't going to do it. But, I mean, if Juan wants to do it, that's Juan. <laughs> nah. 
As you want. That's Actually, I'm just gonna send. I'm just gonna send a link. Okay. I just. So I mean, we've been doing this for ten minutes, and he's finally gonna send the link to look at the live camera feed. As if that's going to be content. Then we're going to get more silence while she stares at a camera feed. What What are we doing? Send you a link for to it. Okay. That's where you can go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, got it. There we go. Look at that. That was fast. She goes, oh, wow, I got it. That was fast. Usually links take three days. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. In real time, the new downtown Hagerstown multi-use sports and event center is soon to be home with the flying box cars. All right. All right. Nice. Imagine dating this guy. Yeah, I mean, look. It's like he dated their daughter, and they they think that's cool. They're proud of it. They're like, yeah, our daughter may be a junkie and in prison, and our other daughter may be dead, and our other son may be in prison. And then we all, we have uh, little kids running around here and grandkids running around here. And we, and we also think Spider Alomar was the best thing that ever happened to our daughter. So we've made him an integral part of our entertainment network because he's such a dynamic force. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told your daughter when, uh, on the first day when I started dating her, I was like, hold up. You better treat me real good because I am not going to be here if you stab your father and, and his girlfriend. And then she did. And then she did stab them. <laughs> what did you apply for? The um... I'm waiting to hear back so I can get it. <laughs> I ain't... What did you apply for? Yeah, I'm waiting to hear if I got it. Great. Great stuff. Apply. I just put in. I told what's called. I didn't apply. I just put in. You need. I don't want that position. What did you apply for? I didn't apply. I just put in. I said I want. I want that position. I. I. I'd blow my brains out. You want that? He's but supposed you to talk. Yeah. He's supposed to do the talking. Damn. Yeah. Shouldn't you maybe follow up with him? <laughs> I never thought about it like that. I was following up with him. I haven't heard him back yet. Yeah, he's, he's been, busy like, man. Texting. You know what I'm saying? He's been busy man. He does stuff with the mayor and stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I think you got a good shot, buddy. You don't. You don't. Unless you're like um the carpet that the celebrity walks out on to the pitcher's mound to throw out the opening pitch like what <laughs> what are they gonna let spider alomar do i didn't mean to kill all the grass on the field <laughs> but my first week i did and i was like my bad i had I, what i intended to do was made the grass good but then i fucked it all up and made the grass bad <laughs> yeah I think you got a good shot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what the position is, but yeah. Yeah. Real good shot. I'm seeing where my friend is, baby, so he can hurry up and get his ass here. And um, I don't know. Tonight would uh be a good night for somebody to just pop up, you know? Yeah. I didn't send the link to nobody, though. Yeah. Tonight would be a great night for somebody to pop up. I didn't send anybody the link. But tonight would be a great night if somebody just manifested themselves on our channel. If somebody just guessed the link and popped in, that'd be fucking awesome. No. No. no I, wish, I wish Kai and Lou were up, though. Bro. Can we see Kai and Lou? <laughs> I, 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 what, what the fuck is Kai and Lou? Why and who? I I gotta see. Catalano TV. Let's go to today's show. They did a Kai and Lou had a morning show this morning. It has thirty four views. It was streamed an hour ago. Let's have a look. It's a wonderful day to be here and play with us. Two guys. What the fuck? 
What was that? Oh, I'm already in. I'm already in. Welcome to the morning show. Why is it in quotes? Is it not the morning show? Welcome to. My, my name is Patrick Melton. <laughs> Another low IQ warning sign. Just like Chad, always using quotes around stuff. Hey, we're doing a members only show. It's like, why is it in quotes? <laughs> Everybody shame. Everybody do. Everybody shame. Time to get out of bed. Oh, time to wake up. Time to get out of bed. From Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, Lou Kai. Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> Whoa! Time to wake up. Time to get out of bed. <laughs> There were butterflies flying at camels. What is this? You're listening to The Morning Show with Lou and Kai. Uh, live from Cleveland, Ohio. As well. As what the fuck? There's a chicken and a globe spinning. They said live from Cleveland, Ohio, and then it cuts to a picture of the pyramids and the Sphinx. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cleveland. Home of the Sphinx. <laughs> As some other mystery location. Brought to you by Catalano TV. Start your day. And now fall leaves are falling. It's like they just like, hey, we've got all these graphics. Let's put them all in the intro. With a chuckle and a laugh with your new friend Lou the God and Kai Brancaccio. Lou the God and Kai Brancaccio. Let's get ready to rock and roll, baby. I'm not kidding. This is their intro. I'm not fucking with the sound at all. They think they, they put this out like nailed it. A bouquet and some beet cheese. Good morning and welcome. Hold on, they're using the morning show logo from Apple's, Apple TV's show with Jennifer Aniston and Steve Carell, The Morning Show. Hit it. Good morning, and fuck you. <laughs> or welcome. One of those two. <laughs> it depends you, what category you fall into. <laughs> you said the welcome, and I'll say the fuck of you. There you go. <laughs> Lou DeGod and Kai Broncaccio. That'll work. How are you doing this fine morning, sir? Tired. Yeah. Not the best sleep, huh? No. I hear you. Yeah, I got up early myself, like early for me, which is really early. And we got uh, raining this morning and uh, cloudy skies. It's, uh, I guess it's good for the garden. <laughs> What's good for the goose is good for the garden. <laughs> Even though the gardens are pretty much done uh, giving up their harvest for the year. The garden are done pretty much giving up their harvest for the year. In a lot of places. Mm, oh, not here in Florida. Right, right. right. You guys got a whole other season ahead. Right. <laughs> no, it kind of stops in late November, around December time, where you really don't have to cut your grass, unless it just rains a lot. Okay. Yeah. It'll be one I remember of those. that 
crabbed grass down there, man. That's some tough stuff. Yeah, it's uh, you know, like it's like rubbery. Holy oh, shit! Joey we won it again, like three and a half hours ago. Oh, uh, yeah, this, yeah, this early morning stream. Yeah, he doesn't sleep. Six months later, he sleeps. It's just not when we sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was up all day yesterday and fucking. Doing, yeah. Did the 645 stream. All right. It's the start of the show. But let's go to the mi- Let's see what they get into. You know, like in the middle, I'm sure they're on topics or they have, do they have guests or. All right. Let's just go to the middle and see, you know, once they're into it and the flow, they're tired. So I bet when it gets going, they're good. Why not? <laughs> just add a little coloring to it. I guess it's good for you. I can't drink beer. I don't drink beer neither. <laughs> Well, you and I don't really drink, so I don't. Think That's not to well. judge those who do, of course. I I know. Uh, why do these? Why do they need to be on Catalano TV? You're like, we're, how else will we get 34 views? We need to be on a network. We gotta be on a network. American Cupcake likes to have himself a nice. Uh, I don't know. Is it? Scotch on the rocks, American cupcake, do tell, or might be a rum and coke, perhaps. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? People who drink is their prerogative. Yeah. Wow. Based. Yeah. I, I find myself particularly uh, sensitive to caffeine, so I can't drink a lot of Coca Cola or those products. I do, you know, I, I do think they're tasty, but again, I I try not to get hard hitting stuff. Coca Cola is tasty. I can't drink those kinds of products. My calories through through uh, beverages, of course. LOL, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God. Painful. Holy shit, look at their logo in the corner of this show. The game. Yeah. And f- forgive us, Flex and Sucker Punch. See, the we problem talk is. And we still we... throw the, v- the <laughs> different conversation. Look at this logo. <sighs> He's going to get someone to help him, right? That could be tricky because they might not know his strengths. <laughs> so it's a tricky situation. Cool, when you're cool, to cool. Write logo. To write for a comic and stuff. But hey, who am I? I don't know. Pat was trying to stream six hours. He won at the same time. Can't happen. Uh, I guess. Oh, that was part of their uh, disagreement in the business? I don't know. I mean, that is also something else, you know, like this, this YouTube game is filled with so many personalities and people overlapping each other instead of it it becomes such a convoluted space of people stepping on each other. And that's where a lot of beef start. And and these are more of these fucking low IQ idiots who think, like you shouldn't do a show while someone else has a show on kevin said it yesterday while what a stuttering john was like on kevin's show and then left to go do his political show and then like kevin was offended that john started a show while kevin was still on he's like he couldn't wait till i finished he's on live he's going up against me it's like not everything's not against you (laughs) everything's not uh everything doesn't have to be against you everything doesn't have to be an attack like, imagine thinking that the world is so small that no one should be able to do a live show while you do a live show. I, I can't. I can't. We have a lot of people who believe that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a weird space. And, I, you know, I guess if... Um, Everybody keeps turning on me and I keep turning on everybody and everybody keeps fucking everybody over. It's going to be easy to get out of this world quickly. You know, Kevin will done with me and Julie will be done with me and I'll be a laughing stock to everybody. <laughs> and then it'll be easy to get out of this stuff. I just got a confidential email communication. Lou used to podcast with Jim Grendel for many years. Eventually, Lou cried from being made fun of and stole 
um, the YouTube channel and took a bunch of content. Once he found out, once Jim Grendel found uh, shitty Kai, he stabbed his old friends in the back. Lou is a stubborn dolt. Kai has zero talent but thinks he's God's gift to everything. They are beyond horrible. They're beyond El Harible. They're beyond El Harible. You know, I can't believe they sent me a link. Look, I, 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 uh, it's been a weird one today. Hit the like button, you idiots. I'm going to get out of here. Cause like, I don't know. I don't know how to save this, uh, when it starts in a mood like this and it's, it's a bad time. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate uh, all around. And again, I, I, I'd like I'd like this just to be a clean, like I'm not trying to attack them. I'm not trying to go after them. This is 100% personal. It's like you tried to fuck me over. I know you tried to fuck me over. I've watched it back. There's no other interpretation of it. There's no other interpretation of it. And when I when I questioned you about it the day of, you played dumb. Whoa, what did I? I didn't mean to imply that. You didn't imply. You directly said it. You talked out your ass. You made shit up. You tr it was trying to, to hurt my credibility. And not that my credibility is worth anything or whatever, but I don't like to feel it feel. Watching you do those apologies and those sketches and and dance around it and never address the real issue it's gross it's fucking gross it's it's embarrassing and sick to watch it's cringe and maybe i'm cringe and maybe i'm part of it and i and i i'll take my lumps and and everything i'm due for that but I'm not going to sit while you tell me one thing off air and you, and then you go on and try to spin it another way and dodge and change shit and try to make it look like I, and I knew I called it what they would do this morning. I called it. You guys said that they were over there going like, whoa, we don't know why Melton's upset. Right, right, right. We got plenty of time to fucking figure it out. Why don't you put, why don't you get some more people in squares over there to help figure it out? Why don't you get Chris Abel's over there? He's good at Google and stuff. Maybe Chris Abels, Abels can pay a guy who could get to the bottom of it for you. You know. Because cause what are we doing? Uh, Tiny Chud. And the bubble guy. Uh, Citizen M. Watch it. I'm an official mod for the Joey C Network. Gross. Roger Rodriguez. He sounds like Tommy NC 2010. Who's Spider Alomar? This bitch needs ubiquity. She's hardwired. Uh, the better mom, Christina C, April, Gina, or AJ. Um, I mean, I don't know how people are as mothers. I mean, April's not a mom. Christina C is an awful mom. Christina C is definitely the worst. Um, even April's ghost town of a womb is <laughs> more impressive than Christina sees offspring or attempts at offspring. And who knows how many gross underdeveloped children she's snail trailed across men's penises over the years. You know, we don't even know. That's not how babies work, Patrick. I know. I know. I know. <sighs> We do have a lot of Ray stuff to get to that we just didn't get to this week. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. Reminder, we have a P.O. box you can send stuff into. 4948 Mountain Vista Street, number 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. Probably do a P.O. box segment next week. And you should get your stuff in if you want it in there. Other than that, it's just a rough one. It's just a rough day. It sucks. It sucks. I know Kevin will love this and take it as a victory. All the Kevin people will be like, finally, he's back on our side. All the Shuli people will be like, you're a KB succubus. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't like any of you. 
I don't like the people who think I'm Team KB, and I don't like the people who think I'm Team Shuley. Both both the guys have done nice things for me and been cool to me. Um, you know, little swipes and stuff aside, I don't take that stuff seriously. But when I watch that back with Shuley, is there's no doubt in my mind what he was trying to do to me. And there's no amount of you telling me I'm talented or I do a good show or I mean, fuck off. I'm not, I'm not here for platitudes and it doesn't matter. Again, it's, it's just what, uh, Kevin was saying yesterday. What about ism? It's like, it's like, we're talking about you guys buying views or allegations made by Rob saw. And you're like, what about Melton not supporting Bob? What about Melton not answering our cause? Yeah. What about it? So I, I, You know, be dabbler. I love you more than a friend. I wish I knew how to quit you. I wish I knew how to quit you. That's true. Whoa. That is true. And that's bedabbler. El Horrible. Tukey, if you will. Hacker, hacker. Okay, look, I don't know. I don't know, man. Worse than high school girls. Yeah, look, I don't want to. Look, all this is dumb, and I understand everybody's going to be like, wow, he's taking it so seriously. It's like, I'm not. I just don't want to be. I feel fucking gross watching that. I know what they're doing. Shuli's saying one thing in my ear privately, and then they go on and act like it's not a big deal there. It's like, I'm done. Like, it's gross. I can't even explain it. It's just gross. It's gross. And I know everybody who was against Shuli this whole time will go, yeah, we told you. It's like, that's fair enough. You did tell me, but they had never done anything not cool to me. Everything had always been cool with me. And that's how I treat everybody in life. I would never go on and say, uh, you know, Shuli doesn't answer my calls when he does. I would never go on and be like, uh, Shuli never had my back when this happened, when I did. And that's exactly what he did. And also, he brought it up in the middle of, not, you know, it was in the middle of nothing. It was in the middle of nothing. And the minute you thought, because your chat, you were watching your chat, you thought maybe I was over attacking you. So you started having to discredit me, just like you spent the first 20, 30 minutes of that show trying to discredit Rob Saul before you even got into it. It's like, the views, who cares? Bob, Bob was probably buying views, and Chris Abel's is... Most definitely probably buying views. What is is? And the situation sucks. It all sucks. But, you know. And that's fine. Little Emmy's like, you're being a baby. It's like, yep. I guess. I guess. And they'll be a baby. They'll be a victim over there. I 100% guarantee they're over there going, why is he turning on us? Whoa, what did we do? Right. Right. I've laid it out. I've laid it out. And on the phone, you were very apologetic and admitted you did wrong. And then you go live with it and it's a big mockery and you've got sketches and skits. Oh, that frog's going to pay today. Uh, wait till tomorrow. We're going to be punishing producer Joe. It's not a bit. It's not a bit when you call me a liar. Sorry. <laughs> Let's try to have a fun Friday, huh? Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did, boy, if you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking and they'll look one. It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. It'll make the taco pony party be a party of soul. It'll make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker so bold. The family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got N. Now loaned other radio shows a straight bitch male prone. Talk shit on the onions that nobody like past. Had my homeboy lame prank call.